Happy holidays, everyone. Martin Sargent here. You know, this season, I really want to do it right. That's why I'm planning on having an old world Christmas. And I've come up to the high country to chop down my own Christmas tree. You want to come? Cool. Come on, let's go. Old world Christmas. Old world Christmas. Old world Christmas. Oh, there's some trees. Oh, it's getting cold. <laughs> Should have dressed a little more warm. Oh, help! Help me! Anyone? Uh, uh, very cold. I got. I gotta build a shelter. Oh God! So cold. Uh, I hate old world Christmas. <laughs> Wish I was back in my studio having a Christmas party. I wanted to be in my studio at a Christmas party. So tired. Christmas party. Go, just take a little nap. Rest. I'm Martin Sargent. Clearly, I'm the guy. Duh. Yeah, I'm pretty much the man. Get with it. Yo, what's up? That's rad, man. What's up? I've never seen anything like that. And blingo. Blingo? I'm screwed. <laughs> Welcome to the unscrewed holiday extravaganza with special guests Alex Chu, Tom Nardone, the 12 girls of Christmas, the dancing elves, and the sexy snow bunnies. And now, your hosts, Miss Loris Wisher and Martin Sargent. Old world Christmas, old world Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to Unscrewed. <laughs> This is the show whose heart just grew three sizes and broke out of its little wire box. And I hope you all feel as much love and warmth as I do right now. Do you? Yeah! All right. In fact, I'm feeling so joyous. I'd like to present a holiday gift to all you out there in TV land. I give you my merry co-host, Miss Laura Swisher, everyone. You give me? I give you. This, this is my holiday fantasy. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing to death in the woods right now. I can do whatever I, forgot I, I was choose. in your dream. Forgive me. <laughs> Laura, this is so great. I'm so happy to have you and everyone else here with us. Aren't you just smitten with the spirit of the season right now? Smitten. Uh, look, we have so much going on. We have dancing elves over there. Elves? Hey, can you guys do a little dance? Yay! Yeah! Yeah! It's all so festive. Not only that, but we've got some really hot snow bunnies who are going to be bringing me drinks throughout the show. Ladies, where are my snow bunnies? That's right. Thank you so much. Uh, old World Christmas! Everyone right there. All right, we'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye, guys. Uh, this is great. So, Laura, what's your dream for the holiday season? My dream has already partially come true with the snow bunnies and the alcohol and everything. Well, I think my dream would probably be to, um, to kill a deer with a single-shot rifle. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's, that's really violent of you, Laura. In fact, speaking of violence, I wish you'd stop shaking that snow globe. What the hell are you doing? Why? It's so pretty. That was your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that, but, you know, I found this website last night, and I just, I, I've been haunted by it. I, I can't get it out of my head. Check this out. See these, this snow globe here with all these little cute elves so going cute. about their business, doing little holiday chores and all? Yeah. And then you grab it, and you shake it, <laughs> and it's like... It's like an earthquake or something, or like, you know, some kind of biblical tempest being visited upon them, so... No, it will hurt the little... Do it again! All right, it is kind of funny. <laughs> Pretty funny to see all those elves getting a, a good rogering in this... Seriously, uh, put, could you put the snow globe down? I don't want to hurt anyone. Anyway, uh, we're glad that you could come inside our little world, our little unscrewed snow globe, if you will. That's what I like to call it, because we have a truly wondrous show for you tonight. It's a show that's hotter than a reindeer in heat. If you're like me, you, you, you haven't finished your holiday shopping yet. I've been bad and lazy. Well, that's okay, because Tom Nardone from ShopandPrivate.com is here with a, a sampling of the stocking stuffers you really want, but have too much self-respect to ask for. Such as, uh, such as something called Liquid Virgin. That's right, make it feel like the first time every time. <laughs> Plus, uh, Dark Dipper Kevin Rowe is going to show off an explosive way to dress your Christmas tree or, or even your neighbor's tree. Not only that, we're going to bring you the 12 girls gone wired of Christmas. Each one hotter and more scantily clad than the next. 
Yeah, look at that. And believe me, people, that just scratches the surface of the icy pond. We're going to have an all-out party tonight, and when it's over, I think the holiday spirit will be alive and singing in all of our hearts. Oh! Yeah, there you go. Thanks, pal. Hey, speaking of holiday spirit, nothing, but nothing puts me in the mood like a day spent sledding. Rushing headlong down the wintry slope, it literally fills me with spasms of holiday glee. But you know, uh, today's modern sleds are a far cry from those of yesteryear, and to prove it, I took two of the most high-tech sleds on the market up to the high country for a test spin. Here's how it went. It was the invention of molded plastics that gives us the ultra-high-tech sleds that we ride around in today, like the saucer or the super space-age bullet train. And now for your viewing pleasure, I'm going to show you what a hot-ass thrill ride sliding down on one of today's modern sleds can be. First up, the saucer. Jesus Christ. Ah! 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 Next up, the bullet train. Oh, God. Oh, God. And because we here at Unscrewed are always pushing the high-tech envelope, I had my intern, Joey, invent a sled the likes of which the world has never seen. I call it the diaper sled. This better work, Joey. Yeah. Uh, go! Go! Uh, 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 uh. Joey! You little... suck! Wow. You know, I gotta say, today's high-tech sleds kind of suck. Yeah, I miss the ones with the runners. You know, the risk of decapitation adds so much to the thrill of sledding. Not just this terrible raspberry I got on my ass from Joey Diaper Sled. Anyway, if you're not filled with spasms of holiday glee, stick around. We'll see if liquid virgin is something you ought to add to your holiday wish shopping list. Tom Nardone is here to show us this year's most outrageous stocking stuffers just to have. Don't go anywhere. All the world's Christmas next. You know how every year you get those Christmas letters from people telling you how great their year's been? Well, Laura Switcher is one of those thoughtful people. Yeah, you know, well, a lot of exciting things happened to me this year. And I, you know, I just wanted to share it with my family and friends, so, uh, so I made a video Christmas letter. Hmm. All right, while you're watching that, <laughs> I'm going to have the snow bunnies bring me another drink. Ladies, come on out. <laughs> and family and everyone else who doubted me. Mom, <laughs> I'm giving you an electronic video holiday card. I'm on a, uh, I'm on my own show, I'm very famous now. It's uh, called Unscrewed with me. It deals a lot with um, internet stuff, internet culture and like computers and technology and just all that shit. But it's great because it's educational. Kevin here is going to show you how to mod your PlayStation no, so no, no. it can shoot re laser no, beams out your ass. That's not what? today. And I'm proud of the work that I do as a journalist. As a, as a feminist, I'm, I'm extremely proud of our coverage of women in technology. Here we go. My editors are having a fit right now. <laughs> but I have a co-host, too. His name's Martin something. I'm high as a kite. Like Huggleberry Hound. <laughs> I gotta say goodbye. It's about that. I've got work to do. But before I go, I just want to say to all the uh, Christians out there, and, uh, Muslims, and Scientologists, the time to stop the violence is 11.30 p.m. Eastern Central Time. Brought to you in part by the Winterfresh Network, where icy cool breath is always on. Log on to winterfresh.com for more details. Hi, I'm Karen from Infrastructure DB, and here's Winter Fuel on the Winterfresh Network. Oh, yes! Unhand my Winterfresh gum. The Winterfresh gum is rightfully mine. Ha 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 ha! Fresh Network, where I see
Cool breath is always on. The 200 horsepower six speed Acura TSX. It defies more than just convention. The critics agree. Metal Gear Solid 3 is a hit. Five out of five from official PlayStation Magazine. Five out of five from GamePro Magazine. Ten out of ten and Game of the Year from PSM Magazine. Snake is back. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Rated M for Mature. From Konami. Warning! This video contains adult content not suitable for children. What if you could take over this jet, this car, this bus, and this crew and travel America to find these hot young girls waiting to get wild just for you? The Man Show's Doug Stanhope is about to live your dream, uncovering some of the hottest girls in America. The hilarious and sexy Girls Gone Wild America Uncovered is not sold in stores, and the good stuff can't even be shown on TV. And if you call now and use your credit card, we'll also send you the all-new Girl Polish, where you find the hottest real college girls doing things they never taught you in school for just $9.99. Since you can never get enough, if you call now, you'll also get road trip absolutely free. That's right, three videos for $9.99. That's a $60 value. This is the best Girls Gone Wild package ever. At Girls Gone Wild, we won't leave you until you're satisfied. Order and you'll automatically receive the hottest Girls Gone Wild videos every month. There's no minimum to buy and all videos have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You must be over 18 with a valid credit card. So call 800-577-0839 to order Girls Gone Wild America Uncovered for only $9.99 and get Girl Power and Road Trip free. Call now, 800-577-0839 and log on to girlsgonewild.com for never-before-seen footage. Catch all new episodes of Last Exile, coming up next, only on Anime Unleashed. So what do you want for Christmas, little girl? Yeah. Oh, hi. Welcome back to Unscrewed Eye. Ladies, I got a show to do, all right? Backstage later? Cool. All right, see you later. Oh, the world Christmas. <laughs> so how many Christmas passes have you sat by the old Tannenbaum holding back the tears because you didn't get what you really wanted from that old fat Saint Nick, huh? Well, this year, this year Unscrewed's got your back, kid. Here to show you how to get the gifts you've always wanted but were too embarrassed to ask for, here's Tom Nardone from Shop in Private. Dot com. Happy holidays, Tom. Welcome to my extravaganza. Great, I have it here. I got my hat on. You do. You look wonderful. You look very festive. Are you, are you filled with the, with the Christmas holiday spirit? I am filled with spirit of the holidays. <laughs> I'm, I'm filled with spirits of some sort or another. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> what this green stuff is, though. Snowbody's being paid me, but it's doing the trick. <laughs> first <laughs> first <laughs> off, uh, tell us about the shopinprivate.com. Sure. Do? It's a business we've been in business a little over five years, and we sell things that are embarrassing to buy at the store. <laughs> so you can go on the Internet and shop in private for whatever it is that you desire. <laughs> And you kind of like anything you buy on the internet, actually. It's yeah, kind of private. Kind of anything, and we're very private about it. All right, so uh, so when people do buy things from you, they, they, they come in like the brown paper, unmarked yep. bag, and all and that sort of thing. And then they never get an email from us. We don't email market. We also don't send catalogs. We just send the box that you ordered, and that's it. All right, and all the records are encrypted and all that, I hope. Absolutely. Everything's all right, so kept in the strictest. What, <laughs> what are some of the, the holiday gift ideas that you brought for us today? Sure. Well, I know everybody does the top ten great Christmas gifts, which are never that great, so we do the worst Christmas gifts. That so we brought some that I think are worth talking about. And the first one is called Liquid Virgin. <laughs> now, now, when I was in college, Liquid Virgin was getting a freshman drunk. And, uh, <laughs> but, the, <laughs> but that's not what this is, is it? No, no this is uh, an alum-based product. Like you see Tom and Jerry cartoons where they put alum in the mouth and it, it, and it puckers them all up. Know? Yeah, 
this is uh, a vaginal lubricant that includes that in it. So, so it sort of shrinks the... <laughs> yeah. Temporarily. The temporarily. vaginal passageway, we should call it. Yeah. And does it really work? They say it does. You know, so many times I've had to wear Speedos on this show. <laughs> I really wish I had the bulge. Tom? We'll leave that with you then, Marty. <laughs> so I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, uh, you put this in your pants. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's still, you know, even though I'm wearing the bulge, it's still not all that impressive, Tom. <laughs> Maybe, you know what? Maybe if you took off your pants so we could actually see it, because they're kind of baggy, Martin. Yeah. I think the ladies in the audience would probably appreciate if you did it. Now, if you saw a guy wearing that in, in, in his, his briefs, do you think that you would be able to tell the difference? Is that if it was real or fake? I'd have to feel it. I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, maybe we get some audience members to help that test. A little bit. <laughs> and finally, we got, I think we got a theme here, you know, the, the, the tongue scraper this oh, is. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, if, if the person is well-groomed down there, you might not need this to get the hairs off, but this is the tongue scraper. Yeah. No, no, that's not, oh, what, that's it's not what it's for. No, no. This is product actually works very well. It's for curing bad breath. Bacteria okay. grows on the back of your tongue, and this is used to scrape it off. Well, let's, Great stocking let's stuffer. give it a, yes. a terrible gift. <laughs> Great yeah, you give this to somebody that's really given on the wrong way. So I just, yeah. do I hold it like this? Uh, the sharp end goes on your tongue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go. Oh, a pine tree forest. No, it's <laughs> old world Christmas. <laughs> old world. Wow, there is a lot that, of crap on my yeah. tongue. Really, ah. That really smells like pure <laughs> funk. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Tom, thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. Well, I, I hope that these Christmas gifts are going to be a great start to a holly jolly holiday for all you people out there. And if you want more info on the Liquid Virgin or anything else, just log on to techtv.com slash unscrewed or go to shopinprivate.com. Great job, man. Thanks so much Thank for being you. here. And anyone want this? I, I'm going to sell this on eBay. I'm selling this on eBay. All right, coming up after the break, we got the dark tip here. He's going to show you how to decorate your tree from about 50 yards away using a cannon. Look at that. And get set to heat up your holiday hearth with a look at tonight's 12 Girls Gone Wire to Christmas. That's just one of them, so you better stick around. We got 11 more, and they are hot. Come back, everyone. We love SmackDown vs. Raw for the new superstar voiceover feature. Actually, my favorite is playing online. Voiceover! Online! Voiceover! Online! Two worlds collide in SmackDown vs. Raw for PlayStation 2. Rated teen. Forget the people you hurt when you wanted to get high. It will summon you. It will challenge you. It will consume you. Mortal Kombat Deception. Online for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Rated mature. 
the world's more entertaining with the Sony card. Because every time you use it, you earn points towards Sony products. Electronics, games, movies, music, all the things you want from Sony get closer with every purchase. And it comes with some other things you want too, like a 0% introductory APR, no annual fee, and a $100 card credit after your first purchase. Call right now to start earning points on your credit card purchases. As much as 8 points for every dollar you spend. Don't wait. Discover the benefits of being a Sony card member. Call now, and with your first purchase, you'll receive a $100 card credit. Turn your everyday purchases into Sony products with the Sony card. It's your window to the things you want. Call 800-421-1200. That's 800-421-1200. All new episodes of Last Exile starting in December! Ah! Catch all new episodes of Last Exile coming up next, only on Anime Unleashed. puts me in the holiday spirit like being high on straight Midori and gazing at some gratuitous P&A. So without further ado, let's check out 12 of Santa's hottest little helpers, or as I like to call them, the 12 Girls Gone Wired of Christmas. Ah, the 12 Girls of Christmas. It reminds me of when I was a boy and coming of age in Latvia. You see, according to Latvian tradition, Father Christmas brings presents on each of the 12 days of Christmas, starting on Christmas Eve. These 12 days were the happiest of the entire year for me back then, but not before my Uncle Brazini gave me a Hustler magazine as a holiday gift. Ever since, I've equated holiday happiness and warmth with pornography. Anyway, for uh, more pictures of naked holiday hotties, visit us at techtv.com slash unscrewed. Old world Christmas. <laughs> I'm all heated up now, so, uh, yo, Laura, what the, what's the D-tip going to bring me for Christmas this year? Well, Martin, I'll tell you. See, Christmas is the one time of year where you should get together with friends and family and spend enough time with them so they get really annoyed and you have to blow some steam off by blowing stuff up. And that's, that's what where I'm the D-tips comes in. That's right. Yeah. This is... This is the Christmas cannon. Is this and, some crazy uh, sex toy or something? Uh, no, no, it is not. Okay. Although Marty did get a little excited when he saw it at first. But uh, <laughs> uh, check this out. We got a chance to test it out earlier. Uh, go ahead and roll that. It's that time of year again. That time of year when Grandma sends you some nasty ass fruitcake. I don't like fruitcake and I want to get rid of it. So we've decided to create what we like to call our Christmas cannon. Now this thing here is powered by alcohol and a stun gun, and it's going to launch our fruitcake, or anything else for that matter, about two, three hundred yards that direction. Let me show you how it works. Basically all we do here is we unscrew the end, and we spray a little bit of uh, liquid alcohol right on the end here, and what, once that happens it's going to vaporize and fill up the pipe with those vapors. Then what we do is just take the stun gun, squeeze the trigger, and it's going to fire sparks right inside, shooting the fruitcake, or anything else for that matter, a few hundred yards in that direction. Let's give it a try. All right, that looks fantastic. But, uh, D-tip, I have to ask, is, uh, is this legal? Yeah, it's, it's legal, actually. Uh, they, they don't uh, consider this a weapon, and it is legal to build something like this, as long as you don't put, like, rocks or marbles or, you know, objects like that in there. But can, we, uh, can we try it out in the studio? Do you, you want, should we try it out can in the we, studio? Can, can we do it? Yeah. First thing you have to be careful of, you got to remember this is a 100,000 volt stun gun, so you're not going to want to touch any metal. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and flip Very that carefully. down. Switch okay, it to switch on. on. Okay. There you go. Okay, now go ahead and hit the switch and let's fire it right Not over. touching metal. Not touching metal. Go ahead. Are you even aiming at the tree? Uh, kind of at Marty, <laughs> but go ahead. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's a. Uh... What's going on over there? Jesus. That's insane. So, uh, Marty, if your house gets toilet paper, remember it's not, I didn't have anything to do with it. He just screamed yeah. to death. I wasn't even paying attention. I was playing with the snow bunnies. All of a sudden, he shot me. God. We, have, we have all the instructions at the website, of course, if you want to build your own Christmas cannon. TechTV.com slash unscrewed. Thanks a lot, guys. Whatever you, uh, that's great. You snow bunnies all right? 
Okay, my practice girl, sorry. <laughs> Coming up, we have a very special secret holiday treat. One hit, it involves me singing with some secret special holiday friends. All right, let's see those elves again. Come on, guys. Old World Christmas. <laughs> This holiday, Xbox gives and gives. Get a console with two games, EA Sports NCAA Football 2005 and Top Spin, plus two months of Xbox Live for $149.99. Rated everyone. At Gamefly, rent the hottest titles for Xbox, PS2, GameCube, and GBA. Games like Halo 2 and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. No due dates, no late fees, free delivery. Go to Gamefly.com for your free trial. Gamefly, the smartest way to rent games. One look is all it takes. The Samsung LCD television with picture-enhancing DNIE technology. Hard to take your eyes off it. Experience the power within. Samsung. in the 200 horsepower Acura TSX with available satellite navigation. A murder only he can solve. An enemy only he can defeat. Hell no. Come on! Did you just shoot at me with your eyes closed? It worked, didn't it? Will Smith, I, Robot, tomorrow. Hoo boy. The holidays are busy. I can never get everything done. But my brother Chris, he was born ready. Heck, he was walking at three months. Me? I prefer the thrill of last minute shopping. Hi, I need some stuff quick. Sure. For my wife, my uncle, three cousins, and some elves. All right. There's only one Chris Kringle. For the rest of us, there's Best Buy. It's been, it's been magical, Marty. You know, there's only one thing that would make this night even better. Better? What's that? Why, a little holiday sing-along, of course. <clears throat> Come, they told me, pa rum pa pom pom A newborn king to see, pa rum pa pom pom our finest gifts we bring pum Alex, two ladies and gentlemen. Two ladies for the king. Pum-pum-pum-pum. Rum-pum-pum-pum. Rum-pum-pum-pum. It's no way than Drew Curtis. So to honor him for rum-pum-pum-pum. When we come. Nice little boy. This is the best Christmas ever, but at the same time, it's kind of bumming me out. I think that we all need a song that's a little bit more cheerful, a little bit more merry, a little bit more gay. Ready? And one, two, a one, two, three. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Nice nap. I feel a lot better. I'll go back to the car. <laughs>
Stay tuned, Unscrewed, next. Unscrewed. Hello and welcome to Unscrewed. I'm Laura Swisher and tonight, well, you're in for a tree because you and I, we're gonna have dinner together and enjoy an entire half hour of dark tips. I'm having White Castle. Hey you guys, it's gonna be a dark tip extravaganza, but before we get started, here's some advice. Record the episode. Right now, start recording, because you're gonna wanna do these, and you'll forget how, and then we'll get confused emails from you that, guess what, we're not gonna answer. Just push record. All right. This first tip caused our government to briefly declare Kevin Rose to be an enemy combatant. I have a lot of data on my hard drive, and sometimes I just don't have enough time to blow it up with thermite. Now, you remember thermite, right? Oh, yeah. We, we have actually a little clip yeah. of the thermite. This is, this is thermite in action. Check this out. Uh, thermite burns at 3,000 degrees, and uh, what that's going to do is create some molten iron and completely destroy your hard drive. Now that, that takes some time to set up, you know, right. you have to do all this wiring, you know, you're sitting there and you're surfing a little porn site and you hit the wrong switch and your whole computer goes up in flames. Right. Don't want to do that. Mm -mm. Good old thermite, a little too slow for me. So uh, take a look at uh, what I use now. Okay, you got your typical desktop PC, complete with your standard ID hard drive full of data you got to get rid of. How? Rockets. Rockets to launch your hard drive out of your PC. Sounds dangerous, right? Well, it kind of is, and uh, we did it. So we're out in the middle of nowhere, and I've got my hard drive, standard IDE hard drive, but this time we're wired up with 10 rocket boosters. Now what this is going to do is the second we slide this inside the case, you'll see I have a nice little guidance rail right here. This is going to slide inside your, uh, your standard ATX computer case and be hooked up to this switch. The second I flip the switch, it's going to send this hard drive hopefully a couple hundred yards in that direction. So uh, let's hook it up and uh, run like hell. Kids, don't try that at home. Unless, of course, home is an Adobe bunker. Since we're on the subject of Adobe, what are some of the mistakes people can make with Adobe Photoshop? Let me think. Hmm. Oh yeah, remember, remember when Kat Schwartz accidentally posted nude pictures of herself on the web and became wildly popular, ultimately ending up on the Howard Stern Show and landing a gadget column with Stuff Magazine? Well, here's a tip that can help you avoid that terrible face. Well, a friend of mine actually emailed me the picture. Right. And I had to verify it with my friend, so I sent about six or seven of guys. Of course, you have to, I was right? it out there. <laughs> and uh, yes, it is true, they did verify it. And actually, what <laughs> does happen is it's actually a little tricky uh, thing here. Let me show you. I actually took a picture of Marty. Check this out. Uh, this is uh, Marty and I took this picture. Um, and what I've done here is I've... I've cropped the image, and take a look at this here. This is the cropped image that we've done, just like Kat did. But right. what happens is, is when you save the image, it actually saves a thumbnail in what's called the EXIF info. The EXIF. The EXIF. So that's the thumbnail right there that's, that's stored in this information. Now, there's no way to get rid of that unless you manually strip it out, because if you crop it, it's still going to be there hidden behind the scenes. Now, a lot of other information is also stored. Check this out. It tells you the type of camera that it was shot with, the Nikon D100. All this information is hidden behind the scenes. So what happened is, when she put this cropped image up on her website, users were able to open this up in Photoshop and then view the thumbnail within Photoshop and actually see that image and then extract it out from there. Right. So what you have to do is just, this is a free application called Photo Studio. You open the image up and then you go into image here and then you go into thumbnail and you choose create inline and you click that right there and then click OK and now if we scroll over here and click on the thumbnail you'll notice that the thumbnail is the same as the original and then we save that out to the hard drive and then no more nude picture of Marty and you got to make sure that uh, you got to make sure that you don't mix them up and accidentally post the original one and then you're left in the same exactly exactly it's very important to get this free utility something worth downloading for sure okay, the sad thing is Howard Stern has not returned Marty's phone calls even though he's completely willing to talk about his lesbian experiences hey by the way do you know where most first lesbian experiences take place intramural softball leagues and colleges across the country. You know what else takes place at colleges? Cheating. So here's a tip most likely to earn you an F if you get caught. This is 
a watch that has a laser built into the side of it. And so all you have to do is blind push the, the button teacher. here. No, not blind the teacher, oh. but what, what it's going to do is that there's kids that sit in the class and they will circle the correct answers. You give it to the smart right. kid, and you know how they always have writing around the room? Yeah. Well, they go in the number and then the answer, and then they'll be able to tell exactly. <laughs> it, it's been done, trust me. Uh, next one, Mentos, you normally know them as the fresh maker, but in this case, the what we have maker. here, the test maker. <laughs> Let's zoom in on that right there. You can actually see the test. Yeah, so what we did is we scanned in a Mentos label here, and this is Photoshop running. Uh, you know, you can use any type of graphic editing application right here. This is uh, the blue label, and we've typed in the answers right here, and then you just print them out, and then use a little bit of that uh, double-sided tape. I found it works really well. Right. Uh, and then you can just tape them right back on, and you know, teacher thinks you have some Mentos sitting on your desk, but secretly, all the answers are there. Study schmutty. All right, you guys, after the break, we're going to show you how to make beer drinking more fun than you could ever imagine. Yeah. Scion, featuring the all-new XA and XB, customized to your individual style. Robots don't kill people. And you trust them if you want to. Will Smith. I, a robot. Rated PG-13. July 16th. For years, there's only been one way to go for internet service. The same companies charging the same high prices, even as technology costs go down. Ready for something new? With People PC Online, you get unlimited internet access for only $10.95 a month, with no banner ads on your welcome page. Go to peoplepc.com now to try our service free for 30 days and compare us with your current ISP. People PC Online has more local access numbers than AOL, plus a smart dialer that automatically chooses the fastest, most reliable number, so you always get the best connection. That's why so many of our members recommend us to family and friends. People PC Online gives you a better internet experience at a lower price. To compare us free for 30 days, visit peoplepc.com for a three-minute download of our easy-to-use software or call 1-800-748-7576. People PC Online, a better way to internet. Are you getting caught with unhealthy credit card debt as you try to balance your life? There is hope. There's 800 Credit Card Debt, an approved debt management company established to get you back on solid ground. 800 Credit Card Debt can eliminate penalties, reduce interest rates, and make your monthly payments smaller. Call right now for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. Call in the next five minutes to see how fast you can get out of debt. Call 1-800-453-1306. Robot Wars, next. It's up to you to choose which games win at this year's g 4 the award show for gamers. Go to g4techtv.com slash g 4 and decide who gets best game, character, soundtrack, and more. Press, vote, and make your voice heard. It's all part of g 4 presented by EB Games and Jeep. Welcome back to Unscrewed. I'm Laura Swisher, and we're taking a trip back through your favorite dark tips. Next is the tip most likely to get you injured while drunk. 
Well, we have uh, compressed air in here, and the PSI is pounds per square inch, and we got 100 PSI in here. It's going to shoot all of this compressed air to drive this piston out, much like you see on Robot Wars or something right. like that. We see the claw going down. Ah, uh, yeah, the same yeah, yeah. Robot, you watch, Wars you watch that Robot Wars Now, how long did this take for you to put together? Uh, it should have taken about, you know, two, three hours, but it took us uh, two, three days. <laughs> we were test a lot of testing had to be done. They were so. testing it till up until exactly now, so yeah. I'm not even sure it's going to work. But, I think uh, it's going to work. Should so, we test it out? Let's do it. I Give it a try. Got a nice little beer here. I'm going to put this. Oh, Marty, are you ready? Yeah, this is better work, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I don't have an athletic support out okay, here. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, there we go. That's great. <laughs> Remember, if you're under 21, you can substitute soda for beer. Of course, you'll be considered cool if you drink soda, because cool kids drink alcohol and lie to their parents. And if they're really cool, they'll end up in jail. Before we go further, let's quickly revisit an extremely popular dart kit that generated hundreds of emails from people who couldn't figure out how to use it. Netbus, a program that lets you take control of your friend's PC without them knowing. Now I'm going to answer the top three questions now. One, where can I find the program? How do I find out what my friend's IP address is? Ask. Number three. How can I get my friends to activate the program? Well, you FTP or email them a fake ICQ patch by the name retail10.exe, which is actually a hidden Trojan executable of the Netbox 2.0 and an invisible in auto starting mode, which also automatically deletes all server data collected by the CPU. Cleared up? I hope so. Moving on. Now, everybody knows that bad driving is something other people do, at least until Big Brother presents you with a surveillance camera snapshot of you running a red light. There are thousands of perfectly good reasons to run a red light. The only problem is that, well, city governments won't acknowledge any of them, even when you make it clear that you are really running late. Fret no more, folks, as this next dark tip shows you how to trick the pesky red light cameras to avoid detection and hefty fines. I'll show you what we got going on today. If you don't know, they're installing the systems all over the states. They're the red light systems that actually take the picture when you run a red light. Yes. And then they actually mail it to you. Have you had, you've had this happen. I haven't had it happen. It's happened to friends. I've seen the pictures. Mm -hmm. But it's very disturbing. Well, how do the, how do the red lights work, Here's first what of happens. All. This is the most advanced uh, thing we could get here. We have these little cars here. Let's say a car is to enter the intersection here. <laughs> Underneath this pad here, picture this. That is actually a metal detector. So the second this car crosses the intersection, it's going to be picked up, and then a, a actual flash is yeah. going to go off. Like so. Big Brother's all So they're going to take a flash just like that and they're going to take a flash actually of the driver and the front plate. So what you're going to want to do is somehow protect that plate. Actually cover it up. Make sure that, you know, they can actually get that image. How do we do that, Kevin? Let me show you how. <laughs> we got a couple little products here. This actually is called the Phantom Plate Photo Shield Cover. And what it is, is it's a lens inside. Actually, this goes right over your plate just like that. And if you'll notice, what happens is when we rotate this, you're actually, uh, you can't see too well. There we go. It's actually going to blur the actual plate number there. So that, that's pretty cool. So when you're driving through the intersection, that flash goes off, and the, the, it actually captures that image. They're not going to be able to read the plate. They can't send you the ticket. It's like pixelated. Yeah, also we got another one, too. This one's pretty cool, too. Check this one out. This one uh, is called the Phantom Plate uh, Reflective Cover. And what happens here is uh, you'll notice, you can't even see the plate there. There's a bunch of little, what they, what they like to call the light reflecting crystals. Actually, it's, it's kind of like uh, it's some, some sparkly stuff that you get at the local little uh, you know, craft shop right. or something like that. You can probably make these at home for like two bucks. But anyway. Uh, just to let you know, these two here are illegal in some states. They're, I believe they're definitely illegal in California, so before you buy whatever state you're in, check out the law. But, yeah, but for California, <laughs> yes. you've got something for us that you're not recommending yourself. What yeah, is it? We have another uh, little product here. This is the photo blocker as seen on TV, uh, tested by the Denver Police Department on Fox News. And actually, the Denver Police said it's surprisingly effective. And uh, what this does is, uh, check this out. This is uh, actually, here's two, let me show you the before and after. This is the treated plate here. Notice how much glossier this plate is than the one next to it. It's kind of hard to see there, but it's actually like a lacquer. So what you can do is you can take this here and just spray this across the plate just like so. And it's going to create, uh, see, a nice, a nice little shiny finish on the outside there. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. You don't want to do it indoors. You don't want to do it indoors. Get cancer. <laughs> but uh, it's going to create a nice little shiny plate. And what's going to happen is that when the when the actual flash takes place, it's going to reflect that. So it's going to, you ever taken a digital camera, aimed it at a mirror, taking the flash in the mirror, and then you see like that, uh, you Have know. I ever? Yeah. <laughs> and you just get a flash, you're like, where am I? Exactly. And that's exactly what's going to happen on the plate. This is not illegal that we know of right now. All these products are available on the internet. We've got lots more dark tips after the break, including 
your all-time favorite. Stick around. Hi, Mary Beth Hoyt here for The Handy Stitch, the sewing solution for today that makes sewing fun, fast, and easy. The Handy Stitch uses the latest micro technology and actually fits in the palm of your hand. It does the jobs that conventional sewing machines can't, so you can sew anything, anywhere, at any time. It has the precision of a small machine to repair delicate fabrics like silk. It has the power of a big machine to sew through tough fabrics like denim. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, The Handy Stitch is for you. You can even do repairs while wearing your clothes. Repair a pocket without taking your pants off. Fix a fallen hem in the office in no time. Even use it for patching up outdoors. It's quick around corners and can add a decorative touch to all sorts of fabrics. You would never be able to sew draperies with a regular machine. The Handy Stitch is a portable sewing solution that makes life a little easier. It lets you put the professional touch on your home decorations and will pay for itself over and over. It gives you that genuine chain stitch, which means you get a secure, strong, and even stitch every time. It's battery powered or AC adaptable, so you can sew any fabric anywhere, anytime. Because of its compact size, it travels with you. The Handy Stitch can even be used outside to repair a flag or fix an awning. Regular machines are bulky and can cost over $500. Call now and you'll get the Handy Stitch complete with four threaded extra wide metal spools, the needle threader, and an extra spool pin for regular size thread. A $40 value for just $14.99. But call in the next five minutes and we'll also include this giant 64 piece thread and bobbin collection so you'll always have the right colored thread for any job. A $20 value, yours free. That means you get everything. The Handy Handy Stitch, all the accessories, and the 64-piece thread and bobbin collection, an incredible $60 value, all for just $14.99. So call this number right now. Here's how to order. To order Handy Stitch, call 1-800-927-8822. That's 1-800-927-8822. So call 1-800-927-8822 and order today. In these times of too much credit card debt, are you getting caught trying to balance your credit card problems as you try to balance your life? The consequences are serious. But there is hope. There's 800 Credit Card Debt, an approved debt management company established to get you back on solid ground. If you have between $2,500 and $40,000 in credit card debt, then 800 Credit Card Debt can help eliminate credit card penalties, reduce interest rates, and make your monthly payments smaller. They negotiated my payments down substantially from $300 a month to $135. My interest rates on all four cards were between 22 to 29 percent. They lowered my interest rates to 4 to 11 percent. It went down from 20,000 to 18,000 to 16,000 to 15,000. At a much faster rate than I could have done myself. Call for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. Call in the next five minutes to see how fast you can get out of debt. 1-800-453-1306. Welcome back to Unscrewed's Tribute to the Dark Tips. I'm Laura Swisher, your guide into the evil side of technology. Now here's a tip most likely to win you friends at the office. It's the stun glove. You can pick these up for about, uh, you know, four or five bucks. Yeah. And you take one apart and inside you'll see a bunch of circuitry here and a big capacitor. This capacitor is used to charge the flash. It's going to hold all the energy inside the capacitor. Now when it discharges, it shoots all of that power into, you know, ignite the flash. Right. So what I'm going to do is take this apart and mount it inside a small little case that you can buy at your local little radio hut. Mm -hmm. And you put one little battery inside there along with the components and then run the two wires out to the tip of the glove. And that's going to give you your homemade uh, taser right there. This is like... Makes sense? This is evil Michael Jackson right here. <laughs> Just beat it. So here's what we do. We turn it on and then you're going to see it. You're going to hear it start charging. And then uh, once this starts flashing, like Just it's telling like you camera. that your flash is ready. <laughs> now we're ready to shock someone the right now. The pain is ready. There we go. So now how, how do we test this out? Well, let's, let's try it on uh, just a standard piece of metal here first. Let's see what that does here. And um, there we go. So it's ready to go. So it's going to recharge here. And let's get, let's get Joey, let's our get intern. Joey. Come on out, Joey. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm ready for this. OK. I don't, I don't know. The crowd is really ready to see it. I mean, they want to see me get stunned? Give me some love. Yeah. Right. Joe, Joey's had a rough day. Uh, let's, let's bring the arm out here. All right. Now, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> He's stoked. Okay. Here we go. You ready? All right. Let's All right. do it. I'm told One. I have to be behind him because he might buckle and poop himself. <laughs> okay. Here we go. 
Oh, f me. <laughs> Was that really bad? <laughs> Question. What's more shocking than 600 volts to the arm? How about when your pee comes out red or green? Well, that's just what happened to two members of our staff when they crossed Joey the intern. Take a look. If someone ingests Ooh. this blue liquid, they will piss blue. If someone <laughs> drinks this liquid, they will piss red. Uh, coffee's a great thing to put this in because you can't even tell when you put it in there. I mean, it just blends right in. So I made a very special lunch. Did you happen to catch the say on video? I just happened to use technology Ow. to film this bathroom. So uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look at that beautiful fun thing. I can't believe Joey has peanut butter again for lunch. I know, man. I'm getting so sick of peanut butter. I wonder what happened to the lobster biscuit had last week. Oh, my... Oh, God! Oh, dude, my pee's in blood. My pee's blood red, man! Oh, Christ, it burns! What the hell is that? Oh, my God! Lucky for them, there was a freak snowstorm in San Francisco that day, and they were able to have fun with their temporary condition. Now it's time to take a look at another type of uh, super soaker. You know, the ones that kids use to spray each other with water, or in Kevin Rose's case, pepper spray. I I'll let him show you. I wanted to create a nice little super soaker, this time filled with a little bit of pepper spray. Mm -hmm. But pepper spray, you know, <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. A little hard to get out of the container. Out of the container, right? You had to put it in, you get it in your eyes. Not a good idea. You can do, what you can do though, is take some peppers here. Uh, peppers are rated in, in the chemistry level at shoe ratings. A jalapeno is going to give you about 5,000 shoe. A uh, habanero, uh, 377,000. Pepper wow. spray, pepper spray normally about 350,000. So. We can take some uh, habaneros here, and what you're going to do is take a nice little knife out like this, and you, you chop these up, you know, get a nice little, uh, you know, even cuts like that, and just make them nice and chopped up. And you're going to add them right into your, this is uh, mm -hmm. uh, some ethanol uh, in here. Um, now, this, you get, at a, uh, you get this at a chemistry store. Don't eat that. You get this at a chemistry store. They might ask for permits and whatnot. Tell them it's for a school project. They'll normally let you have it or something like that. Uh, you want to heat this up. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Uh, don't drink this, though. It's going to boil off. The ethanol is going to boil off and create a nice little paste for you. You mix mm -hmm. in some mineral oil and some water, and you're going to add it to your stun gun. You're going to have one for each eye here. Uh -huh. Pepper spray stun gun. <laughs> That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. And this one's completely automatic. I like the motorized version a lot easier. You don't have to do any pumping. Right. That's just me. You can pump it if you want. For the ladies, these are a little difficult, though, to put in your purse. So you might <laughs> want right. to get the traditional uh, the, kind. The last one here, this one here, is the uh, flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, oh. What we've done is... Uh, We've hooked up some propane here. We can we can turn it on here. I think it's pretty much illegal though. To, we we don't want to torch the studio. Or no, anything. we're not we're not going to torch the studio. Okay. But uh, you hook that up, and uh, then you point it like so, and uh, basically we fill this with alcohol. And uh, actually, I I was a little scared about this one, you know. I, so we got Joey the intern to try it out. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the footage there. So here he is uh, firing it up. That's my car. Yeah. <laughs> no, you there we go. There we go. So, Nice little burst there. He almost actually catches himself on fire. The whole reason I didn't really want to do this. See, it's starting to leak. Oh, yeah. Just to yeah, let I you know, uh, one thing we did realize is you have to change the top to a metal top after the, because it just melted through. It was about to go back in on him. Uh, luckily, he wasn't. Now, is that uh, you know, bad when the flame comes back at yeah, you? It, well, if it comes inside, it could potentially explode. Yeah, explode, explode pretty much. And we'd have to uh, find another intern. Do, do not try this at home. These are all very dangerous, uh, but, uh, you know, I thought you should know about them. Let me point out that when your super soaker shoots out flames, it's no longer a toy. Again, don't try that at home. All right, everyone. Coming up, we've got your favorite dark tip of all time, and it involves a microwave, a sledgehammer, and liquid nitrogen. Yeah, <laughs> stick around. Flip it this summer. Rent as many games as you want. Flip it. For as long as you want. Play a game, then flip it for a new one. Flip it with the new Blockbuster Flip Card. Rent it, play it, flip it. 49 bucks is all you pay for three months of unlimited game. Game all summer for less than the price of the hottest new games. So get to Blockbuster now and flip it. Rent the hottest game today, like PsyOps, the Mind Gate Conspiracy. Play it, then flip it for Driver 3 at Blockbuster now.
BMW introduces the first seamless integration of iPod and automobile. The worst part was the pressure. Phone calls at home, phone calls at work, letters in the mail. It was nice to help. Since Debt Free works with thousands of creditors, we got his interest lowered and his penalties eliminated. Every day, thousands of people call Debt Free, a nonprofit organization. I was snapping at everyone, on edge all the time. I just didn't know how to deal with it. I think it was the first good news she'd heard in a long time. I explained everything Debt Free could do to help her, and uh, we figured out she could pay off her debts in five years and still have money left over every month. I wanted to do something. I just didn't know where to start. I showed her she could make just one monthly payment, and she didn't need to borrow money to do it. Stop running from debt. Call Debt Free today. I'm back to my old self. I'm glad I called Debt Free. I'm not snapping at people anymore. If you're overwhelmed by debt, gather your bills and call Debt Free now. I'm getting out of debt and I'm doing it myself. And I'm pretty proud of that. Come spend some quality time with Red Man and Method Man, yo. Go to ebgames.com slash vote or your local EB Games store to vote for the EB Gamers Choice Award and win a chance to go to G4ia, the award show for gamers with Method Man and Red Man. Stars of the new show Method and Red, Wednesdays at 9.30 on Fox. And we promise we won't smack you around too much. Yeah, well, maybe just a little bit. For official rules, go to g4techtv.com slash meth and red. G4ia is presented by EB Games and Jeep. Welcome back to the Unscrewed Dark Tip Tribute. I'm Laura Swisher, and guess what? We're finally here, ready to reveal your favorite dark tip. The best ways to destroy your data. Girlfriend's coming over, you know, you gotta get it with some data really fast right. or the feds are knocking on the door. <laughs> Throw it in the microwave. Yes, uh, if you only put it on for about 10 seconds, what's gonna happen is, is the microwave is gonna arc across the metallic surface destroying the data. Right. Um, actually, I've found if you have the uh, popcorn setting, uh, it does nice little bursts. <laughs> Take a look inside here, inside the actual device, because you're gonna see it sparking right away. So let's see, there we go, yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's, uh, and let's take a look inside. I think we just, uh, it's sm smoking a little bit. Um, Our cameraman's gonna pass out now. Yeah, so you can see the, uh, little hot, actually, a little hot. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, uh, that's completely uh, destroyed the disc there. See, it's nice and, and broken up there. No data is coming off of that disc. And, now I have a, I, I don't have a microwave, I just have a stovetop oven. What do I, does that come uh, 350 for about 10 minutes, put it in, you'll be fine. All right, what else do we have? This um, looks next thing, this, this is what you gotta put the gloves on. This hey. is the little uh, cancer causing agents here, just to let you know. Um, this here is actually some pool acid that we dip this drive in. Uh, the muriatic, muriatic acid. Muriatic acid, yeah. that's it. And actually we have some footage here. Let's, uh, let's show, this was dipping the drive in the acid. If you notice, once the sun hits, it's gonna start to boil a little bit here, and then, uh, this little time lapse here, it's gonna to start to fizz up a little bit. It's, just, it's eating away at the aluminum is what it's doing right now, destroying all the data on the disc. And just to let you know, those fumes, you're not gonna to wanna to breathe those in. You're not gonna to wanna, to breathe. those are How some pretty nasty films. How long did that take? What was the total time for uh, that? About two hours, and it's gonna eat away at the heads and completely destroy the data on the disc. And the vapors irritate the respiratory tract, so watch out, yeah, people. Yeah, not good, cancer-causing, stuff like that. Eh. Yeah, whatever. Next one is, uh, this one has been destroyed with some thermite that burns at 2,000 degrees Celsius. And that is basically, it's molten iron that, well, let, let's just take a look at the footage here. We actually, I set this up in my backyard, and uh, that's a pound of thermite. And the second you ignite it, there it goes, yeah. Now that, that's molten iron spraying oh. off of it. You want to step back for that one. Quick um, question, Kevin. What's your security deposit on that house? Yeah, neighbors, <laughs> neighbors are not going to be a big fan of this one. It does the job, but neighbors don't like it. Um, one, now we have a new one tonight, an experiment. This one we're going to do liquid nitrogen like they did in Terminator 2. So it's possible, this, you, we haven't done this before we ever. We haven't done this before ever. This may is, or may not work. Yes, let's, uh, let's just take this and move this table back a little bit here. Here we have some liquid nitrogen. You can pick this up at, well you can't really pick this up anywhere actually. You have to have permits and whatnot, but uh, <laughs> we, we got some of it here. Just toss this aside here, and you might want to. What's step, the temperature of liquid nitrogen, uh, by the way? It's like negative 197. Wow. So, uh, well, yeah, watch out there because it's going to burn your foot. I don't want my if shoe it, to shatter. If shower. it gets on your feet, it's going to freeze your toes, oh. and then if you try and move them, they break off. So, you don't want to get it on your feet. Um, let's go ahead and pull out one of the. Uh, I put in a couple of uh, bananas in there. Okay. Let's pull out. Let's you, get our you got goggles, your goggles on. There. on? Okay, good. All right, you put. Uh, pull that out. Set that. Yeah, there you go. And set that on the ground there. Uh, oh, oh yeah, you, you can see it's pretty much uh, 
Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much you can do it. Now pull out the hard drive. This one's been sitting here for a couple minutes, so we don't know if this is actually going to break the hard drive. We're not sure yet, but let's just give it a little. Oh. Yeah, it, it shatters. I don't know if that was so much a sledgehammer, but uh, it's, um, you can see it's, yeah, it was, a, it was an experiment. What are you going to do? There we have it. Your favorite unscrewed dark tips for Martin Sargent, Kevin Rose, Joey the Intern. I'm Laura Swisher. Thanks for watching. And remember, folks, always watch your back and never trust an intern. You found the G-Spot. Unscrewed with Martin Sargent's next. <laughs>true i am often confused for being an alien but it's not because of my large eyes or willow like stick arms it's because i routinely break into people's houses late at night and probe their anuses <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying i you just turned something beautiful into something ugly martin what's your address again <laughs> hey everybody welcome to unscrew the show that's like a timber wolf high on a ridge top howling into the valley of internet culture. Oh! I'm Martin Sargent, but if I were a wolf, my name would be Pogo. Pogo. Hey, Unscrewed Army, uh, a lot of you don't know this, but I was raised deep in the Montana wilderness in a village called Gooseberry Notch. It was a paradise. Except for the fact that for most of the 80s, our small village was stalked by this creature. A devil beast who killed, dismembered, and partially ate a goodly number of our town folk, including my own brother, Simon. Simon, my dear dead brother, do you know that I am a TV star now? Do they have platinum third tier extended digital plus cable in heaven? And, and so, what's up with God? Is he cool? <laughs> anyway, except for the killings, I'm telling you, Gooseberry Notch sure was great. In fact, that's where I developed my love for backcountry camping. See, back in those days, a crappy plastic compass and a Scooby-Doo sleeping bag was as high-tech as camping got. But now, in our teched-up high-tech world, there's just a whole array of items to make you safer and more comfortable in the backcountry. Take the reflector blanket. This thing is a miracle. I mean, you, you can lie on it, make a tent with it, and you know what? If you get lost, wrap yourself in it, and like magic, everything will be fine. <laughs> just kidding, man. It'll just, you know, reflect light, but without food and water, you'll still die. <laughs> but hey, you know, if, if a plane happens to fly by, maybe they'll see your special shiny blanket, and you'll be saved. But probably not. <laughs> But if you have a high-tech global positioning system like this one, then you won't ever get lost, so no problem, right? But a GPS won't keep you safe from everything in the woods, like devil beasts, for example. <laughs> no, for that, you'll need a weapon, preferably a high-tech handheld photon cannon like that. But be careful, because a lot of things can happen when you're packing a photon cannon. Nature, so restful. Something in the underbrush. Ah! 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 I wonder what.
what I shot. Wonder what I shot. Ah! <laughs> Alas. My youth in Gooseberry Notch, living in fear of the devil beast, had made me hasty on the trigger. For that day, I didn't shoot a woodland creature or a devil beast. Nay, I shot this man. <laughs> Phil Clarkson from Illinois. So there's the rub. Technology can keep you safe on the one hand, but if handled badly, it can also hurt and even kill. But out there in the forest, I accidentally took a life but I also gave life back. For there, besides the corpse of Phil Clarkson, I found something pure, something gentle. I found a baby, and that baby now lives with me in my house, in a cabinet. <laughs> Uh, and I just hope the show doesn't go too late because I got a baby in my cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you think about it. Hey, before we do anything else, I got to ask you something. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen this guy, this guy around the office? You know, he's always wearing that Christmas sweater. Yeah, uh, Christmas. That's, I, I don't know what he does. I don't know who hired him, but I always see him around. He's just always around. Yeah. The weird thing is he acts like I hired him. I mean, he's always coming up to my desk and like asking me questions. I have no clue why. Nobody knows what he does at the office. So... I decided to set up a hidden camera and check this out. I caught some footage of our Christmas guy. Hi. I went ahead and I downloaded all those extra files you're talking about, and then I also rebuilt the firewall. But I'm feeling a little thick from my lunch, so I was wondering if it was okay if today I just went ahead and knocked off a little bit early. It's all right. We'll do whatever you need to do, man. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Who the hell is that guy? I don't know, but you, you want to know something weird? He took cuff yesterday for Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> and his last name is Steinberg. You know this guy. You lied to me. The Christmas guy has a story, and I will get to the bottom of it. All right, everyone. Tonight's show is so good. When we're done showing it to you, it's going to be swaddled in velvet and placed in the permanent collection of the Whitney Museum of American Art. <laughs> pretty good show, isn't it? In a few moments, we're going to blow the lid off how space aliens are running our government. And I'm not talking about Cheney, real space alien. <laughs> and our Girl Gone Wired shines with such radiant beauty that you can actually see her from all 58 moons of Jupiter. <laughs> Take your pick, any one of them, you can see her. But before all that business, it, it's time once again to check in with our staff scientist, Dr. Peterson, in an always informative segment we call Mysteries of Science Explained. Mysteries of Science Explained! <laughs> oh, hello, and welcome to Mysteries of Science Explained. You know, in 1953, a lot of people started reporting seeing some crazy lights in the sky over Washington, D.C. Was it aliens? You bet your fiery, sweet, pulsating ass it was aliens! And I'll tell you something else, too! One day, they're gonna come down to planet Earth, and they're gonna punch our tickets! They're gonna kill us all! And that's why you have to punch your own ticket before the aliens get to you! Punch your own ticket! That's right! Punch it! Punch your own ticket! Just like I'm about to do! I was ready for that one! All right, back to the science. Let's grind some things with the pestle. <laughs> Thank you for watching Mysteries of Science Explained! Another mystery of science explained. Always informative. I just think it's about time, you know, we amp up the Thorazine dosage on our staff <laughs> scientists there. Little touch, little touch. Anyway, what do you think? Are, are space aliens tampering around with our political process over there in Washington, D.C.? Clearly our Dr. Peterson thinks so, but find out what our next guest thinks right after the break. They've stolen the ultimate weapon and brought the world to the brink of destruction. Now, one man is all that stands in their way. Metal Gear.
Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, rated M for Mature. Peace by any means necessary from Konami. Why can't you just be nice? Because the world isn't nice. Hunted by humans. You're public enemy number one. Hated by vampires. On Wednesday, December 8th, he's going to need some new blood. Who the hell are you people? My father meant for us to help you. Whistler's daughter. The peace. Time for payback. Blade Trinity. Rated R. Starts Wednesday, December 8th. It will summon you. It will challenge you. It will consume you. Mortal Kombat Deception. Online for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Rated mature. <laughs> My brother. He may be the famous Kringle. David! But he's always had help. I could never compete. Well, now... I've got some helpers of my own, and they don't smell like reindeer. Well, he's been good. Big screen good or plasma good? Uh, big screen good. There's only one Chris Kringle. For the rest of us, there's Best Buy. Stocking double, because of Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Layer upon layer of flavor, with a creamy blend of cheeses and herbs between two thin crusts. Buy your medium one topping Double Melt Pizza for $9.99 and get any second medium pizza for just $5 more. Hey, don't, hey, don't. Get the door. It's Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Drive, throw stuff, switch. For a limited time, get Mario Kart Double Dash free when you buy a Nintendo GameCube for $99.99. Rated everyone. Welcome back to Unscrewed. If you have a hard time fathoming the policy decisions that come out of Washington, D.C., maybe it's because those decisions are influenced by space aliens. Here to talk about this troubling issue is the author of Exopolitics, Political Implications of the Extraterrestrial Pl Presence, Dr. Michael Sala. Great to have you on the show. Just a little bit of background here. You are a political science professor at American University, writing about such things as conflict resolution in East Timor, the Balkans, some pretty heavy stuff. But then you shifted your academic focus and got interested in extraterrestrials. Why? Well, that's right. Um, basically, what I found was the literature and the evidence on what was happening uh, in international conflicts wasn't explaining what was going wrong. And so I began to look elsewhere, and what I found was that uh, through the disclosure project that there were a number of government former military officials employees talking about their role in covering up an extraterrestrial presence. The disclosure project is run by Dr. Stephen Greer and in 2001 they went before the National Press Club and all these former military people came out and said yes I used to see aliens every day I worked very closely with them is that all you got interested in? Basically that's right I mean they were very impressive they had long uh, histories in terms of uh, various uh, services, uh, various occupations, and they were very persuasive and basically what they did was they pre presented very strong evidence that this is in fact is, is happening and that the government is keeping this information from the general public. And this, this has actually been going on for a long time. You say over 70 years ago, right, aliens first came in contact with American presidency? Well, basically it all began in 1942 as far as uh, the US is concerned when they found off the coast of San Diego uh, a, a crashed disk and they began to uh, re retrieve that and reverse engineer that. Then that continued on in 1947 with uh, another crash in Roswell where the Army got a disc. Uh, the first disc was the, the Navy. Then the Army got a disc in 1947, uh, in the Navy and the Army are competitors in this field. And then in 1954, you have an, an actual meeting 
where the president, that's Eisenhower. Eisenhower actually met with these aliens? That's right, yes. What kind of aliens? I mean, this whole flying saucer thing, it makes swift boats seem very insignificant. <laughs> you know? What, what kind of aliens did Eisenhower meet with? I mean, there's several species of aliens that come in contact with us, right? In February 20, 1954, uh, President Eisenhower was at Palm Springs and then went to Edwards Air Force Base and had a meeting with a delegation of extraterrestrials. Who, that Wait, I read around. that he went to the Air Force Base to see a dentist. That was the cover story. That was the cover that story. Was the okay, cover I knew story. I read that. Yeah. So, but the cover story didn't hold. Uh, it's got holes in it, and people have been able to find out exactly what, what the holes were. Basically, he went to Edwards Air Force Base. He met with Nordic extraterrestrials. That's Nordic how... extraterrestrials. The Nords are sort of these elegant, very tall, kingly-looking beings with long... They're kind of Fabio-ish. That's right. That's right. Yeah, they, they're very impressive beings. And basically, uh, Eisenhower had a meeting with them. They communicated to Eisenhower that they wanted... Uh, the U.S. to abandon its uh, nuclear testing program. Eleven days after the meeting, the U.S. tested its largest ever hydrogen bomb. The oh, so Eisenhower was like, F that, Fabio. <laughs> We're going to blow some <laughs> up, man. Is that what he said? Well, you know, they didn't want to give up their nukes. They thought that this was their security and that they weren't going to give it up for aliens coming in preaching uh, brotherhood and uh, spiritual growth. But that wasn't the only sort of pact that our government made with the aliens, right? We also signed a sort of a treaty with the gray aliens. The greys are sort of the, the, the classic big head, big eye kind of things, right? That's right. That's another group. <laughs> like Arnold Schwarzenegger, maybe? No, he's more of a Nord. He's more, he's more of a Nord. Okay. You know, well, Winona Ryder, kind of more of a grey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this pact was, they, they, they would allow these grey aliens to do some genetic testing on the American citizenry, is that right? Well, basically the greys got permission to do limited testing. They would pick up a number of uh, American citizens and they would give the names of these citizens to the national security agencies. They would make sure that the citizens weren't harmed and that they would remove the memories of the abductions. But in fact, what happened was that uh, the abductions uh, were much wider, more extensive. There were hundreds of thousands being abducted. Uh, people were being uh, harmed and memories weren't always removed. And so a lot of people uh, were disclosing what was happening. Wow. Are you saying that like all American presidents are clued into this like Bush in office right now? Does he really know what's going on with these greys and these nords and the reptoids even? We get into them later. So, well, Bush isn't that, that smart. I mean, uh, he, he, leaves, he leaves all the thinking to, to Dick Cheney. And, oh, so and Cheney knows? Cheney knows? Cheney about knows. He's in the loop. He knows all about the, the ET presence. So he's the one that basically is the interface between these secret committees and the Bush administration. Now, I've heard that some aliens are actually in politics. I, I've read that uh, Prince Charles is a kind of alien called a reptoid. Is that true? Well, some have said that. I mean, Prince Charles does have a, a long tongue, so you know, maybe uh, there's some truth there. Um, but basically, um, there's still a lot of evidence that um, <laughs> that needs to be provided that he's an actual uh, a mm -hmm. reptoid. But we're waiting for that. But uh, they're kind of the nasty ones, the reptoids. They're not quite as cool as the Greys or the Nords. They're the ones that are kind of really messy up, right? Yeah, the reptoids have a, have a reputation for uh, doing some nasty things. Uh. Real quick, we got to run, but you know, we're, we're in war in Iraq, and you, among other thinkers, say that maybe the real reason we went there wasn't to find weapons of mass destruction, or actually, we were going to find weapons of mass destruction, but not the kind that you might think. These were actually alien weapons, is that correct? That's right. Saddam Hussein was aware that there was some ET artifacts that were left over from an ancient civilization, the Sumerian civilization, that actually had interactions with... Uh, aliens called the Anunnaki, and that uh, the Bush administration, well, not the Bush administration, but the committees be that told the Bush administration that they needed to get in there because they couldn't leave those artifacts uh, open and accessible to Saddam Hussein and any of the uh, European or Russian uh, governments. So, you know, we, we should just stop complaining. We went to war. It was just. We should have gone in there. Well, you, know, you don't know what would have happened if... Uh, they didn't go in there and take control Saddam of the Saddam Hussein, you, you, you want him in, in league with the Anunnaki. That would be a very bad thing. <laughs> Dr. Michael Sala, thank you so much for being here on the program. You've got to read the book, Out of Your Politics. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you're just getting into this subject, this is the place to start. Come back and see it again. Okay? Really? All right, coming up. This may look like a cruel piece of alien technology, but it was actually created here on Earth to kill the turnip eaters. We'll talk to the inventor of the Rodinator next. I don't really care what she says. You're not too fat to wear a thong. You wanna go? Get hot girls to wrestle on command. Up in the ring or down in the mud, it's Rumble Roses, and it plays as good as it looks. Rated Mature from Konami.
One look is all it takes. The Samsung LCD television with picture enhancing DNIE technology. It's hard to take your eyes off it. Experience the power within. Samsung. Millions have experienced the legend. Now it is time for you to join the quest. Behold the future of online gaming. EverQuest 2, where adventure comes alive. Rated T for Teen. I'm Stanley Johnson. I've got a great family. I've got a four-bedroom house and a great community. Like my car? It's new. I even belong to the local golf club. How do I do it? I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. I can barely pay my finance charges. Somebody help me. Need a smart way to consolidate your debt? Come to LendingTree.com and you can get home equity rates as low as 4.24% APR. When banks compete, you win at LendingTree.com. Screaming, tag-teaming swingers. Dixie and Diddy team up to save the big game. Donkey Kong Country 2, only for Game Boy Advance. Rated everyone. This is Kevin or as his business card calls him, director of technology for the entire company, Kevin. See, Kevin's always had an interest in technology, but up until a few years ago, wasn't doing much with it. He was working here, wearing a little Kevin name tag. Then Kevin went to DeVrysSuccess47.com. He found DeVry's free guide to today's hottest technology careers. He also found that DeVry's tech degrees were in high demand from today's leading companies. That DeVry had small classes where he'd get individual attention and with a future in technology looking better every minute, that he could earn his associate degree in less than two years, or a bachelor's in just three. So, how do you go from a job with a Kevin name tag to a great career with your own Kevin parking space? Call or log on now to DeVrySuccess47.com for your free guide to today's hottest technology careers. DeVry, where success stories begin. Hey! <laughs> This chicken thing just said that there are new episodes of Last Exile starting in December! No, seriously! Catch the anime series Last Exile, coming up next, only on Anime Unleashed. Thanks very much, welcome back on food. Before the assault weapon ban was lifted, the best way to kill burrowing rodents was this device. The Rodinator. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Well, now, via Netcam from Midvale, Idaho, here's its inventor, Ed Meyer. How you doing, Ed? Great. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Ed, uh, I got to ask you, are, are burrowing rodents so big a nuisance that you needed to invent this killing machine? Hey, I think nuisance is putting it pretty mild. <laughs> They're terrible. Kill they're, them all. They're just digging holes, man. It's nature. Maybe you should invent something that could kill baby birds in the nest. Oh, Quickly, efficiently. <laughs> no, the uh, burrowing rodents eat trees. They eat your garden. They leave big piles of dirt in your yard. They're a nuisance. They cost us money. Oh, okay, then. That's fine. Yeah. How, <laughs> how does this thing work? Well, let me tell you. We're basically just mixing propane and oxygen together, putting it down the tunnel system, igniting it producing a custom force that's twice the power of TNT. Wow. Whoa, man. I mean, whatever happened to good old poison? No, they still have it, but it's not effective anymore. They've made it so weak that it doesn't work. You've got to find better uh, Have the gophers become resistant, like there's a race of super gophers now? Yeah, I think they did. That's why we had to go to an extreme measure with the rodinator. <laughs> Ain't it great? Uh, it's pretty amazing. Man. In fact, it's spellbinding. <laughs> you ought to see an old farmer look at it. Oh, oh my god. Great. So, are, are gophers good eating? Well, only if they're flame broiled. Oh. <laughs> Do you have any plans on upgrading the rotinator, make it a little bit more powerful? Damn straight. This spring, I've got a completely remote control driven one, so you can stand away and blow her up. And I got a small one 
just for your average household guy, they'll just get a couple hundred bucks. It's a oh, that's really handy. handy deal. That's oh. handy. Is it really important, like Laura here was wearing the helmet and the earphones? Is it that dangerous that you got to wear that protective gear? No, it's called CYA. Mm -hmm. Cover your ass. Uh -huh. <laughs> how, much, uh, how much does the Roadinator cost, Ed? Um, shipped to your door. It's $1,880, and that's everything but a tank of propane and oxygen. That's good value. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually it's very affordable compared to what people spend on poisons. It's cheap. Ed, you're a true American hero. Yes, I am. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much. Want to ask something scary? What's that, Laura? I actually brought this with me from Tucson on the plane. They didn't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> That is scary. Hey, everyone out there, if you have $1,800 of gopher problem and bloodlust, go to rodinator.com and get yours today. You can take that home. That looks like a lot of fun. You could have fun with that tonight. All right, coming up, we will gaze at pictures of a girl so fetching, so beguiling, that if we lived in an earlier time, she would be burned as a witch. No enemy has ever withstood our might. I need a weapon. Rated M for Mature. Hey, it's free t-shirts, we're gonna fire them off. Here he comes, and boom, nice shot! Good catch, young lady in the audience. We've got more coming. Well, we got a little smoke problem coming out there. Oh! A little malfunction. Oh! Clear the courts. Ho! Oh. <laughs> I can't get this pressure going out of my head. All of this pressure, my hands on the road. For you. Come on in, you've been missing the party. When you have a great host, getting set up is easy. Start a website with OLM.net and set up is quick and simple. So, tell me about yourself. I, uh... Kevin has two older brothers, both married, two nieces, one nephew, all of whom he spoils, and his parents are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. His website has the highest sales in the US, and in his spare time, he volunteers to help homeless children. Wow. A great host is always there to support you, 24-7. And OLM.net is the web host with the most. So start your own website with web-based email. Store and share digital photos online. And 24-7 customer support with a real live person. All this for as little as $5.95 a month. With a great host, anything is possible. OLM.net. For this special price, go to OLM.net slash G4 Tech TV. Beautiful Joe 2! The sequel to last year's GameCube Game of the Year is more beautiful than ever! Now Joe and Sylvia team up to fight evil as they battle through Hollywood Movie World. Beautiful Joe 2, rated T for Teen, only from Capcom. Now let's raise the golden goblet to our lips and drink the nectar of Girls Gone Wild. Tonight's doe-eyed Dolly Mink is Jennifer Corbin. Jennifer is a big advocate for eating right. I'm an advocate too. An advocate for the people of Guam. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have been to Guam, and while yes, there are problems, such as the fact that large reptilian creatures roam Guam unchecked, wantonly eating the citizenry, it must be emphasized that Guam is a very nice place. It has trees and even a lake, but it also has oil. Lots of oil. And I, on behalf of the Guamian people, will sell you that oil. I know where it is. I will take you there. It'll be great. You need oil. I can get you good, cheap Guamian oil. So you pay me, I kick a little bit back to the Guams, and hey, everything's groovy, man. Everything's groovy. Anyway, 
Okay, for more picks of Jennifer, go to jennifercorbin.com. Oh, that's all the time we got. That was a great show. Got to run, though. Thanks to our friends, Dr. Michael Sala, Ed Meyer, Grill Gone Wire, Jennifer Corbin, Dr. Peterson, and, of course, The Switch. All right, everyone. We'll see you at the bar. I hate Adam Sessler. I'd rather suck at a urinal puck than play this game. Why does he get to play video games and review video games on a show about video games? Why does he get to spend every day with Morgan Webb? We've got a preview of the hottest new releases. Yeah! <laughs> Obsessed with video games? Watch X-Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Weeknights at 11. You found the G-spot. I'm screwed with Martin Sargent's next Go it up tonight. A lesson in evolution you never learn in school that might just affect tourism in the Grand Canyon. Plus, would you change your vote in exchange for mind blowing sex? If so, we might be able to help you. And finally, our girl Don Wired used to be a competitive dancer and says that dancing makes her feel free. the show. Let's put on some Benny Goodman or something we can actually listen to, Swish. You're no fun, Martin. <laughs> You're hey. no fun anymore. I know. I'm old. I'm an old <laughs> man now. I'm an old man. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Unscrew, the show that hovers above the sleeping body of internet culture, gleaming steel probe at the ready. I'm television's Martin Sargent. You know, my life as a rich and powerful television personality is pretty okay. But sometimes, even I get sad little blue. And when I feel this way, there's only one path back to Chippersville, and that's observing people whose lives are even sadder, weirder, and more meaningless than mine. Thankfully, there's a lot of them on internet, and after a few clicks, my life suddenly doesn't look so bad. I usually start at bikerfox.com. This, this biker fox is a grown man in Oklahoma who thinks he's a male model. And, uh, and a professional uh, race, uh, bike racer. <laughs> and uh, a, a wildlife photographer. And uh, judging from the hundreds of photos he's posted on his site, he, he also likes to dress in jorts and twist his hairy shirtless torso into a series of obscene, deeply disturbing poses. It's not clear if that's his blue steel or an unsettlingly uh, dead-on impression of Buffalo Bill from The Silence of the Lambs. What is clear is that I'm really glad I'm not him. Now, if I'm still feeling down, I might pop over to deverginizemark.com. Mark here uh, enjoys listening to Toby Keith, Yanni, and Neil Diamond, which leads me to believe that the only person sadder than Mark is whoever finally deverginizes Mark. <laughs> now, in the rare case that I'm still not happy to be me, I fall back to my failsafe. I go down into my basement and play with the mutant halfling I bought for $37 on eBay. I call him Tim. Tim lives in my sump pump, and boy howdy, the fact that I'm not him is always enough to make me grab the umbrella and start singing in the rain. So thanks, Internet. Thanks for making me happy to be me again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Hey, 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 everyone. Hey, do you know what else makes me happy? When my intern, Raljeet, downloads web videos of hot lesbian action for my personal amusement. Thanks, Raljeet. What is the definition of an internet? Okay, it won't on the internet. I don't even know what eBay is. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's very nice. 
I think we should probably play that for like the next whew. 20 minutes. I'm ready to go up and up and up and up and up. But seriously, this isn't going to end up on the internet. This isn't going to end up on the internet. <laughs> and then it does. My Nothing favorite does. thing That's is... That's probably what Paris Hilton said. <laughs> yeah. This will just be for us, right? It's just for us. This is just for you and me. I like that they were sort of shy about it. At first, like that, that first initial kick, it looked like a, a peck, like a... And then next thing you know, her tongue is down the other one's throat, like... Argh! Hey, Swish. Yeah. You ever kiss a girl? Um, <laughs> once. Really? Tell us all about it right now. Because <laughs> that's hot. Why is it so hot for the guy to see the two ladies? Do you get turned on by seeing two guys do that? Um, and not really, and I don't, I don't understand the appeal. I don't, I don't know why that is. I like, don't either. I don't understand the appeal of that one either. I think we should have more of it. More guy-on-guy -guy action. Hot guy-on-guy -guy action. For the okay, ladies. let's move on with the rest of the show now, Swish. <laughs> Stupid idea. <laughs> Tonight's show is more dangerous and unpredictable than Gary Busey. <laughs> My good friend, cryptozoologist John Rhodes is going to be here to tell you why your weird next door neighbor might actually be a reptilian mutant who wants to kill and eat you. So you don't want to miss that. <laughs> You're dangerous to miss that. <laughs> and our girl got wired so hot she gave me the prickly heat all up and down my neck, thigh, head, neck, and chest areas. You know that prick? You ever get that? I think you call it hot back now. Well, uh, yeah. But on a serious note, our children are our future. And that's why we've developed a series of educational videos aimed at teaching our kids about the technologies found throughout the world. And we call it Tech Around the Globe. One, two, three, Tech Around the Globe. Teaching our children what they didn't know. It's Tech Around the Globe. <laughs> Welcome to Tech Around the Globe. Today we're going to learn about the technology of Ghana. Not to sound haughty, but the tech of Ghana is actually pretty crappy. They also beat strangers to death there with sticks. Well, that's it for this edition of... Tech Around the Globe! <laughs> Just doing our part. Doing our part to teach the kids about other cultures. All right, everyone, up next we'll hear from a cryptozoologist who claims that evolved reptoids are living among us and that they might want to eat us. Stick around. The 200 horsepower, six speed Acura TSX. It defies more than just convention. <laughs> Introducing Zavix Virtual Bowling. You may forget it's not real. Zavix. Rated E for everyone. Game and port sold separately. Decide your destiny. A life of virtue or villainy is up to you. Fable for every choice. A consequence rated mature. I initially went to a university, a traditional four-year college, but uh, that wasn't for me. I ended up just making hamburgers across the street from campus. After a few years of handing out ketchup for a living, I heard an ad for ITT Tech on the radio, so it was like two in the morning, and I said, well, maybe I should give them a call and see what I can do there, so I did. I graduated valedictorian at ITT Tech uh, twice, uh, once for my associates and then for my bachelors. When I started going to school, uh, one day my mother asked me, who are you and what have you done with my son? Today I maintain test equipment that's used for making military weapons for the government. I get a great sense of pride out of my job. Uh, I can't believe I got a chance like this. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Take advantage of our new programs that include on-campus and flexible online courses to better fit your busy lifestyle. Call 1-800-327-1172 to apply. No crunches ever. 
Introducing the Ab Lounge, scientifically designed to get you up off the floor, making old-fashioned crunches a thing of the past. Sculpt your abdominals using the Ab Lounge Jackknife, proven in university testing to be better for your body. It's as easy as a crunch, but the Ab Lounge design makes every move really count, targeting your abs without wasted effort. Compare the Ab Lounge to an old-fashioned crunch. The advanced Ab Lounge Jackknife generates up to 75% more muscle activity in the upper and lower abdominals, and an amazing 268% more in the love handle obliques. I have this one pair of jeans. After just eight weeks, my fat jeans don't really fit anymore. With its rolled steel frame, the Ab Lounge supports up to 275 pounds. And it's so easy, almost anyone can use it. Call now to try the Ab Lounge for 30 days for just $14.95. If you don't agree the Ab Lounge is the best way to a sexy stomach, return it within 30 days for a refund of your $14.95. Call now and say goodbye to crunches forever. Welcome back to On Screwed. How well do you know your neighbors? My next friend says they could be aliens, evil reptilian aliens. Here's cryptozoologist John Rhodes. Hey, John, great to have you on the program. Now, before we get into the, the, the reptiles, tell us what a cryptozoologist does. Uh, cryptozoology, crypto meaning hidden, and mm -hmm. zoology, the study of animals. So we know, about five, we know about 5 million life forms here on Earth, but there's an estimated between 1 and 150 million life forms we've yet to encounter. So the cryptozoologist is studying animals that aren't recognized as being right. real yet. Bigfoot, right. Loch Ness Monster, Naga, reptoids. Yep, some of those, yeah. There's also different fishes and mm -hmm. different types of insects, many of which we find all the time. And when we do, we just enter them back into the scientific catalogs so we can say this is a recognized life form. So your specialty as a cryptozoologist is the reptoid. What is a reptoid? Uh, reptoid means reptilian humanoid. And uh, a scientist a number of years ago by the name of Dale Russell took the uh, model of a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. And he said that if this had been allowed to evolve uninterrupted, it would have reached this model he created. And actually, it was of a humanoid type of a reptilian creature much like what was discussed in the earliest Genesis accounts. And ancient cultures all around the world that they talk about a long time ago, we used to actually be in contact with a creature species that was intelligent, was able to communicate with mankind. And this is all around the world. This isn't just, yeah. you know, Christian mythology. This is mythologies all around so the world. So everyone kind of believes this. No matter what culture, there are people that they are buying this. It's all over your website, reptoids.com. Yeah. What else can we find up there? Uh, you'll be able to find some of the theories of... Uh, of how these creatures may have evolved, how basically and sometimes in like Antarctica, which some of the dinosaurs were best suited what? to um, survive when the devastation happened 65 million years ago, they were best suited for a cold environment and living in the dark. So these are the ones that may have gone underground to adapt okay. to an underground civilization. So not, maybe I was misspeaking before. They may not be my neighbors who are the reptoids, but they're sort of, they're living not necessarily among us, but underground. Is that right? Now let me ask you a question. Are you worried about getting eaten or hoping to get eaten? Because <laughs> rumor is you don't get enough sex. Maybe a reptoid will do, you know? Rumor has it he got eaten last night. I don't know. <laughs> what, what rumor? Where are you getting these rumors, man? You know how it is. It's through the network. <laughs> are, are, are reptoids good lays? You know, I wouldn't know, but um, looking at the shot previous to this, I was wondering what a couple of females would look like with lip lock. Of course, you know, they don't have lips, so, you know. They do have big tails, What though, do right? they look like? They do have big they tails. They have big tails. What, what, so, okay, they don't have lips. They got big tails. What, well, what what's being reported like? all around the world is that there are these creatures that are being countered. Most people have seen these big creatures, these little guys with the big heads and the big eyes. Right. That's actually transforming. Nowadays, people are seeing more and more of these creatures that are about anywhere from six to seven and a half foot tall, very muscular. Uh, they have scales or beaded skin. Some have tails and some don't. Three fingers with an opposable thumb. These are, the, these are the descriptions which we would think of as like Satan or something evil that lives underground. What we're actually looking at is maybe a long time ago, some of these dinosaurs, not the ones that evolved into birds, because they did survive and evolve into birds, which we only just recently recognized, right. but some of them may actually be living underground in a parallel civilization to ours. So these ships that are coming over, uh, over, over uh, human populations and creatures that we may be calling aliens may not be from some star system, but they may actually be from hidden ecological niches deep underground in our Earth. Okay. What is your proof of all of this? 
There really is no proof. Okay. But, but what there is is that there are stories and multiple eyewitness sightings. Recently, they had one down in Brazil. A number of years ago, they had one in uh, South Carolina, Bishopville, South Carolina, in which an entire town was seeing these creatures. Five or six people, one was a, a retired colonel, had seen them. And this made ABC News. This was a big report. People had seen these that had great credibility in the, in the local communities. So it's not something that's so perhaps fictional, although we'd like to believe so, because encountering something that would look like that would just really invoke all kinds of fear in us. And that's why people like to entertain the subject with, with fear, because you know it's, it's what churches for 2,000 years have been yeah. telling us. Why would they be walking around, though? Why would they see, like, I, I want to go to North Carolina or whatever? Why, <laughs> why not New York or Manhattan? Well, you know? I think it's a matter of they live in remote geological areas. Mm -hmm. And if they're looking for different things to do with the ecology, looking for plants and stuff like that, it's only most of the reports people are encountering these are on the outskirts of towns and farm villages where they're seeing them on the edge of woods. H haven't you just found some evidence down in the Grand Canyon? That's, it's very interesting. You actually haven't revealed it in over six years. You're going to do it here on this show for the first time. <laughs> Well, actually, in 1909, uh, in the Arizona Gazette newspaper, April 5th, 1909, the headlines talk about the Smithsonian uh, Institution discovering a massive underground city cut into the sides of the canyon. And they said that they hadn't fully explored the place, but it, was, it, it had enough room for 50,000 people to live in. And the reason this is kind of pertinent, and they, they did, of course, cover all this up because it kind of went against traditional anthropological viewpoints of the early peopling of America. But the important uh, thing about this is that the Hopi Indians they claim that a long time ago, these creatures that they called their elder brothers are the snake people and also the ant people, which is interesting because that's what you would look at when you think one of these little gray aliens. Mm -hmm. When these cyclical devastations come upon Earth, they're actually taken, groups of them are taken underground dependent on, on if their spirituality is right, and they're saved to become the genesis of following generations John, after John, everybody else is wiped out. Peyote. <laughs> that's that's maybe what, why they saw why, these have things. You, have you seen some on peyote? <laughs> no. <I> just, <laughs> Don't look away from me I've when you're seen, answering that. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I've seen a lot of things on a lot of drugs, man. Never a reptoid. Well, maybe that's what the that's what the Hopis saw. Well, no. There's there's an aspect of our own evolution, according to evolutionary science. They say that all mammals actually evolved from early reptiles. We've morphologically changed over 65 million years ago. The part of the brain that's the most ancient part of the brain is called the reptilian complex because mm -hmm. it actually drives all the subconscious aspects of our, our biological systems. And so therefore, this part of a reptilian aspect of things that comes up in our psychology and dreams and in visions is a part of ourselves, but at the same time, there's too much actual tracks, there's too many eye, multiple eyewitness sightings where they've actually seen creatures like this physically. Gotcha. So it's kind well, of a little bit of both. We, we got to run here. I wish we could talk all night about this. We got to go. Though. John, all right. real quick, are they Thank dangerous? You. Do we have to worry about them? Uh, they're as dangerous as any other human. All right, there you go. Well, thanks for being with us tonight. John, you got to check out the DVD. And for more about cryptozoology, go to reptoids.com where you can buy the DVD. All right, coming up, get your rocks off and change the political landscape while you're at it. Find out how next. Own a part of cinematic history. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Collector's DVD gift set. Featuring the extended edition of the movie that won 11 Academy Awards and is now 50 minutes longer. With a beautifully detailed Minas Tirith keepsake box sculpted by the Weta artists. And a bonus DVD featuring the music of Howard Shore. The greatest adventure of all time is now the must-own DVD of the year. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Own the collector's DVD gift set today. Two. Rated E for everyone. EA Sports. Why did your last diet fail? If you're over 30, overstressed, and overweight, take a look in the mirror. You've got excess body fat around your waist, hips, and belly, right? Well, diet failure is not your fault. The problem is cortisol, a nasty little stress hormone that traps excess fat around the middle. But now there's Relicor. Relicor helps control cortisol and helps us lose stubborn belly fat fast. If you're dieting and still plagued by unsightly belly bulge, even if you're low-carb dieting, there's only one Relicor. Relicor helps you get thinner, look younger, and have energy to burn. Remember, when you're over 30, overstressed, 
and want to get rid of stubborn belly fat, the answer is Relicor. Call in the next 15 minutes and find out how you can receive a one-month supply of Relicor absolutely free. Call 1-800-477-1830. That's 1-800-477-1830. Order Relicor now. It's easy. You'll love it. In these times of too much credit card debt, are you getting caught trying to balance your credit card problems as you try to balance your life? The consequences are serious. But there is hope. There's 800 Credit Card Debt, an approved debt management company established to get you back on solid ground. If you have between $2,500 and $40,000 in credit card debt, then 800 Credit Card Debt can help eliminate credit card penalties, reduce interest rates, and make your monthly payments smaller. They negotiated my payments down substantially from $300 a month to $135. My interest rates on all four cards were between 22 to 29 percent. They lowered my interest rates to 4 to 11 percent. It went down from 20,000 to 18,000 to 16,000 to 15,000. At a much faster rate than I could have done myself. Call for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. Call in the next five minutes to see how fast you can get out of debt. 1-800-453-1306. See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Great to have you back here. Thank you. That's enough. Stay right on. So, uh, you know, we taped this show a few days before the time you're watching it right now. So we have no idea who was elected president tonight. But what we do know is that regardless of who won, a fair amount of you are going to get laid tonight. Why? Well, Internet, of course. See, the Internet and all the sex election sites that are out there. Take this one, Voter Gads. You've probably heard of it. This here is a site dedicated to increasing votes by threatening to not have sex with anyone who does not cast a ballot. You can take one of three votergasm pledges. Here's the first one. You can pledge to be a citizen by promising to withhold sex from non-voters for the week following the election. You know, I could basically run for Congress and some chicks would still withhold sex from me. But second, <laughs> you could be a patriot by pledging to have sex with a voter on election night and withhold sex from non-voters for the week following the election. Or third, you could be really hardcore and be a true American hero and pledge to have sex with a voter on election night and withhold sex from non-voters for the next four years. Four years, wow. Swish. Now, be sure that you read the fine print because before you make a pledge, acceptable of sexual positions and clue are not limited to missionary, doggy style, cowgirl, reverse cowgirl, leapfrog, butterfly, humpback whale, cling rack, squashing of the deck chair, accordion, reverse piggyback, and advanced leapfrog. Also known as twin leapfrog. Twin leapfrog. Also, while you're there, be sure to check the Votergasm post-election party listings. Basically, these are orgies going on right now as you're watching this crap television program. <laughs> Now, for those of you who only get laid like once every four years, go out now and get your lever pulled. Stop watching it. Go. <laughs> All right? It's erection night. Get out there. Now, if you're looking for a more meaningful relationship, there's always this other site, actforlove.com. This is a site for political activists who want to score with their own kind. Because God forbid you get lucky and find out that she thinks differently about stem cells than you do. <laughs> Essentially, both Votergasm and Act for Love are clever ploys on the parts of the webmasters to have sex probably for the first time since the Clinton administration. But the same really can't be said about this third site, F the Vote, which encourages voters to use their sexual power to nail complete and total strangers, and in the heat of passion, when people will say just about anything, including, stick the lamp up my ass, honey, to change their political affiliation. So, let's go ahead and talk to one of F the Vote's organizers, Here's Carl DeSalvo. Hi, Carl. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Great chat. So do I have this, do I have this right here while, while you're douching some and you try to change their vote? That work? Yeah, well, I think it, I think it will work, definitely. Uh, what do you mean you think? Have you tried it or not? Have you done it? Uh, well, you know, we have many people who have claimed that they've, uh, they've done the deed for us or, or rather for the country because it, it's a patriotic act. Yeah, well, here's sure. the thing, Carl. A lot of people say things they don't really mean when they're effing. Right. Well, that's why we have a pledge form, right? Okay. So it's not, it's, you know, you, 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 can, you can get them to pledge, and actually, hopefully, you'll get them to pledge before you, uh, before you put out. You know, it's, it's pledge for play is the yeah, way we gotcha. think about it. So now, now, this is very partisan. Basically, the idea is to screw to beat George Bush. Right. We don't know if it's worked yet. Right. The, the people watching this show do, we don't, all right? Yeah. But I'd like to think that if Kerry won, it's because of those terrible things I did to that girl I met at the Badly Drawn Boy concert last week. Because, <laughs> man, I made, made her do a lot of promising. All right, so why did you first create this site? 
Well, I think we created it because uh, we were uh, brainstorming about how to get involved in the election, and we, we realized that, uh, you know, we thought actually that uh, how, how, do you, how do you change people's votes? How do you get people to listen to you? How do you get them to, to, to change their opinions? And, and as true, good uh, Americans and American. consumers, we realized that the best way to do that is through sex. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we said, hey, sex sells, sex works, let's go with it. And uh, I think, you know, beyond that, there's a basic premise to our, to our site that we wholeheartedly believe in, and that's that at the end of the day, liberals are just hotter, and they're better in the sack. <laughs> I can yeah, definitely but... see this program working in the schools. Like, I, I think it would be a really popular way to get young people to vote. Have oh, you thought about that at all? No, no. We've actually tried to stay away from the schools. You know, we want to keep everything above board, so... Uh... <laughs> you know what, man? I would vote for Lyndon LaRouche if it helped me get my balls wet. Well, exactly. See, that's exactly the point. The question is, is, you know, what are you willing to do to get a vote, and what are you willing to do to get laid? And hopefully we can make those two things come together uh, in a, in a good literally. way. Quite literally. That, yeah, exactly, exactly, in which everyone has a lot of fun, and uh, we get some regime change going on. I like this guy. I like the way you think, Carl. Thanks very much for being on the program. All right, thank you. Hey, if you out there, if you want to screw for democracy, get rid of Bush, go to askthevote.com. All right, prepare to lick the honey-drizzled thighs of Girls Gone Wired after the break. Yes. Due to broadcast standards, they can't say this. Come on, give me the double. We can't show you this. Nice. You don't want to see this. Since we're all here, how about a foursome? Oh! Oh! And thank goodness for this. This is awesome. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Buy the unrated DVD version where it's all revealed. Oh yeah. Now with loads of extras. Don't touch my. Oh. I can't take it anymore. Get yours with the works. Get the rated or unrated version January 4th. No enemy has ever withstood our might. I need a weapon. Rated M for Mature. In the 200 horsepower Acura TSX. With available satellite navigation. Check this out. This is what we do for a living. We're software developers. With the training we received at Westwood, we learned to design, code, and test games like this. And this. Can you believe that we get paid for playing games? Westwood College now offers training online or on campus for video game careers. For a brochure, call toll-free 877-558-1997. That's 877-558-1997. Call now. Anime Unleashed, next. Cell phone, 1.2 megapixel camera, and holds 5,000 MP3s. Wow, that's that's really impressive. Mm. Hold on a second, sorry. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm in the middle of lunch. Uh, can I call you back? All right, cool, thanks. So that's a lot of MP3s. Yeah. Mm. See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Hold on, let me, let me put you on speakerphone. No. Now let's step from our loose-fitting robes and wade waist-deep into the warm, slick gurgle pool of Girls Gone Wild. Tonight's Velvet Sheath lust paddle is Trigere Regine. More than anything, Trigere likes dancing. It sets her free. Well, as a child, I too loved the dance. I used to dance down by the wharf for coins, and I was good, maybe too good. Because one day a man in a black suit coat named Dr. Falco abducted me and forced me to join his traveling circus of urchins. He chained me to a box and forced me to dance day in and out. 
And when I grew weary, he flogged me. And when I collapsed, he flogged me more. Dance no longer set me free, for now I was its prisoner. But he did introduce me to tons of hot, juggy ladies, just like Trigere. So I guess it was all worth it. Thanks, Dr. Falco. I had no idea that you were a dancer, Mike. Oh, I was quite a dancer. Oh, really? how I used to dance in the streets and the avenues in the strip clubs. <laughs> the bills just to pay for college. In cages, you put, on your, poles. you put yourself through an Ivy League college. Strip it. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go find myself a Republican to bang. All right, thanks to my friends John Rhodes, Carl DeSalvo, Girl Gun Wire, Trejera, and of course the Swish. See you at the bar, everyone. <laughs>
and giving her a good rogering while atop the skin of a snow leopard. <laughs> That's living, man. Mm. But what good are posters and hides if you don't have a special someone to share them with? Well, type the words life-size electric clown into Google, and you'll find you could purchase a life-size electric clown <laughs> to keep you company. Pretty neat, isn't it? An electric clown will gladly sit with you and admire your collections, and unlike people, electric clowns don't sass you. You can tell them anything. You can touch them, you can throw them downstairs. Hell, you can even dress them up like Santana. <laughs> Try doing all that with a real person. So, thanks, Internet, for making collecting so fun and exciting. But I gotta say, even though collecting's great and all, it's still nothing compared to the feeling I used to get when I'd shoot a cat <laughs> with a 45. Not even close. <laughs> Thing, another thing I like to collect is internet videos of people getting hurt. Yes. So look out, you babies, because here comes a gem. funny seeing the people get hurt, isn't it? It's always funny seeing people get hurt, but what I love is that we now live in a day and age where your most humiliating moment can be shared with the world on internet. Mm-hmm. Was that Greg Lugane? It's like 50 pounds <laughs> later. Is that who that was? It's pretty much the same move. That, actually, that was him before Trim Spa. Uh-huh. Trim Spa. And he took Trim Spa, and now, well, you know what's happening. You know, what's you know the rest of the story. How about this audience we got tonight? Yeah! What a fantastic audience! part of the audience because let's say I get bored here and decide I you know want to sit there how would I do it what you'd want to do is send me a check for fifty dollars <laughs> and a dime bag <laughs> I'm just kidding you know <laughs> about the fifty dollars if you want to come down and watch our show uh, all you gotta do is go on our internet website go to g4techtv.com slash unscrewed there's a button right there tell you how to get the tickets. It's really a hot ticket. It's the hottest ticket. Uh, like 70 other people are waiting outside crying because they're going to get in tonight. We had to get the National Guard down here to disperse them. It's they're, free, yet people are using, scalping. Yeah, they're using shock grenades and all that kind of stuff out Ma there. It's yeah, wild. It's like, it's like Boston Crazy. out there right now. Crazy. Tonight's show, tonight's show was <laughs> slow roasted then braised with a fiery sauce of caramelized tech. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Have you ever uh, married someone you don't know? <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Uh, Vegas, baby, Vegas. Well, <laughs> one of our TV friends wants to do it on purpose, and the internet is there to help. This girl tonight, yeah, she yeah. got this website. She wants to get married through the internet. Well, we here at Unscrewed care about education, and that's why we have a segment designed to teach children about technology around the world. And we call it Tech Around the Globe. Today we're going to learn about the technology of Paraguay. Actually, there's no technology in Paraguay, but here's a fact. In Paraguay, they feed children to the mud people. That's right, the mud people, who will one day rise from the swamps and kill every last bastard in that whole country. Well, that's it for this edition of... Tech Around the Globe! I think it's, uh... I think it's really important to do our part uh, it, it to really teach is. the kids. And the sad thing is, probably most kids don't even know what mud people are. I and, know, seriously. You know, thank God for us. And now everyone knows not to go anywhere near Paraguay. That's right. <laughs> All right, everyone, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> get death threats from their Paraguay. Are we on in Paraguay? I hope not. Hey, just to add, we're going to tear away the mask disguising corporate logos in the agenda of evil. Stick around. The 200 horsepower, six-speed Acura TSX. It defies more than just convention. <laughs> he 
Introducing Zavix Virtual Bowling. You may forget it's not real. Zavix. Rated E for everyone. Game and port sold separately. what we do for a living. We're software developers. With the online program from Westwood, you can train from home to design, code, and test games like this. And this. Can you believe that we get paid for playing games? Westwood College now offers training online for video game careers. For a brochure, call 888-636-0077. That's 636-0077. Call now. Why did your last diet fail? If you're over 30, overstressed, and overweight, take a look in the mirror. You've got excess body fat around your waist, hips, and belly, right? Well, diet failure is not your fault. The problem is cortisol, a nasty little stress hormone that traps excess fat around the middle. But now, there's Relicor. Relicor helps control cortisol and helps us lose stubborn belly fat fast. If you're dieting and still plagued by unsightly belly bulge, even if you're low-carb dieting, there's only one Relicor. Relicor helps you get thinner, look younger, and have energy to burn. Remember, when you're over 30, overstressed, and want to get rid of stubborn belly fat, the answer is Relicor. Call in the next 15 minutes and find out how you can receive a one-month supply of Relicor absolutely free. Call 1-800-477-1830. That's 1-800-477-1830. Order Relicor now. It's easy. You'll love it. Again, television friends. Say, did you know the Nike swoosh symbol is based on the mythical goddess of victory? Amazing. And I wouldn't have known it if I didn't come across my next friend's website, Teroscopes.com. Via satellite from Seattle, Washington, it's scholar of mysteries, Michael Sarian. Hey, Michael. Yeah, Michael nice to see you. So great nice to see you again, my old friend. How you been doing? Oh, pretty good. Uh, remember our time in August? It was great. It's good to see you again. It was so great to see you again, Michael. Yeah, yeah. But what we're here to talk about tonight is symbols. And do you mean to tell me right here on national television that corporations hide secret symbols into their logos? Yeah, well, it's compulsory, yeah. There's many scholars have gone into this in the past. In America, there's some great work on this. And, and I, I tend to focus more on the occult side of it, so yeah, absolutely. I'm not talking about the merchants themselves, but I certainly am talking about the ad men of Madison Avenue. Yeah, they do do that. So you're telling me these ad men up in Madison Avenue, they study, they're in the occult, they're in, this, in deep with the secret societies, and they're going to use these things to make me buy product? Or what's their agenda? That's exactly what they basically are doing, yeah. And they have an industry to not only do what you're talking about, but also to cover up the fact that they're into this kind of thing. I guess not all of them maybe are consciously aware of it, but the, the idea is not just only to sell their products. It's also behavioral control. It falls under the heading of, uh, you know, a psychic dictatorship. I call it a psychic dictatorship. Douglas Rushkoff calls it media viruses. You know, I, I was an advertising major my freshman year in college. They never right. told us any of that stuff. You got, no, no, no. you got to get up to a fairly high level before... Well, it's the, whole trick. it's the whole trick of corporations in general. They operate from a pyramidical structure, so when you're coming in at the ground floor, you don't know this until you ascend up the, the ranks. You know, uh -huh. even, you know, you've seen the latest movie, The Corporation, and the book of Joel Bacan, his latest uh, work on the corporation. This is basically what it's about, to fight the corporations like Ralph Nader is trying to do right now is more than just, uh, there's different ways of fighting them. You have to know what kind of uh, weapons they're using and All right. how well, they go about uh, influencing our behavior. Well, let's prove it. Uh, a lot of these symbols have to do with straight up dirty sex. What are a couple it. of the companies trying to bring smut into my family's home on the sly? Well, tell me one that isn't, you know. <laughs> you got headless women, you got, uh, you know, 
Remember the heroin chic thing that was a couple of years yeah, back? Yeah, well, I remember that. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I mean, you open any magazine, you look at any billboard, you look at any TV, and now it's even creeping into the data space in the in the kids' uh, video games and Nintendo and, and stuff it's like even, that. even it's even creeping into beer, man. That's what really irks me. It's beer. <laughs> it's all, it's, Cor Coors Light, you say, has got some hidden symbols in there, right? What's yeah, in there? Yeah, well, you could, before you can get into the symbolism, you just need to look at the name. I, I know Coors is a family name, but the designers wanted to keep it, I think, because that actually is a word. It goes back to Egypt. It's an old Egyptian word for the male testicles, by the way. Uh huh. Yeah. Can you believe? So, so is, is that why when I drink too much Coors, I want to get laid? <laughs> yeah. so that means you're just drinking balls. I, with anything uh, next to it? All right, let's move on. How about Sephora? Sephora is what do they sell? Uh, perfume, right? Yeah. That's where I buy all my perfume. Whoa. Right. They're they're a big company right now. Their symbol is the, the female vagina for uh -huh. a start. I mean, you only got to look at the symbolism. You don't have to be you don't have to have a PhD in this. But the word itself is uh, Hebrew. Anybody who's Jewish will immediately know what I'm talking about. That that is a word that represents holy power or sphere of uh, power. It's uh -huh. basically it's like what the Christians would say. Um, you know. Uh, Holy Spirit. Sephora is a female word in Hebrew that means a uh, power or goddess or, you know, force. Well, it looks spiritual force. Looks like whatever that lady was kind of on the rag or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Hey, I'm you know. I don't know if that's going to make me buy product, to tell you the truth. Well, it, it, it affects your unconscious mind. Basically, we've got to realize every time we open the fridge or look on the uh, stores or the grocery stores, what, what we're seeing there is at 70% of the product names don't actually mean anything in English. You can prove this for yourself. Just go to your refrigerator and look at the names Mazda, Nissan, Lexus, Coke, Coors. They don't mean anything in the English language. But not all subliminal messages are sexual in nature. There are no, also no. hidden political secret society images. Basically, who is doing what to whom here? And what I want to get into is the Masonic symbolism that you see in the Acura company. The symbol, though, I want to draw your attention to uh, that you're showing there is the Masonic compass. Anybody who's gone by a Masonic hall or gone inside and looked at their literature or looked it up on the internet, Masonic, you'll see that their symbol, right, a secret society symbol, is a compass. And that is exactly what you see, is a stylized A for Acura, is actually a Masonic compass. Uh, so that gives, you know, that we need, we got some questions there about why they would be using that symbol. Do, do most Masons drive Acuras? Hey, I don't know. Hey, but maybe you've noticed on the CRX, the Honda CRX, remember how many fishes you'll see, the Christian fishes, uh -huh. kind of go with that car? Because CRX is actually a phoneme for the word cross. So it's a lot of Christians. I don't know about Mason. Are you telling me all these Japanese guys over in Japan are like, oh, we got to put Christ symbols on the CRX Honda. Yeah, big is time. that really what's going on? No, the CRX means Christ. It stands for the word cross. CRX is a uh, word without the vowels for the word cross. And you just, you just see how many Christians will drive the CRX. Go and look at it in the street. You'll see that they'll have the fish on it, which is representing the Christians. So I don't know about Masons and Acura, but I certainly do know that it does have an effect, yeah. How about an Apple computer? This is the you know, G4 Tech TV. You say Apple computers got some hidden symbols. Yeah, that's actually quite a powerful logo. When I first came to the States out of Ireland, I was kind of uh, noticing that one right away. It kind of jumped out at me because there again is a perfect proof. What on earth is a technical company, West Coast American, you know, high-tech company, doing with a symbol literally out of the book of Genesis? I mean, you don't even have to have read the Bible to know that that comes from the uh, tree of life. It's the forbidden fruit, okay, the forbidden fruit. What is that all about? What's the connection to the book of Genesis? And, uh, and super technologies, you know, we, we got some questions there. And we can go into that about the forbidden fruit that some people in control up there believe that uh, technology and silicon and the silicon revolution represents a, a sort of a forbidden fruit, an access what about to some the, What about the, the kind of gay rainbow flag on that apple? <laughs> yeah, I know. So do most, uh, most gay, do they use apples or PCs? How's that work out? That one I haven't checked into okay. yet. I'm kind of All staggered. Right. You know, I just, I'm just curious why it's connected to the female and the fall and the serpent and all of these kinds of things. If you look at the Intel, the Intel logo, that kind of Intel yeah. a serpent, it looks like a circle, but it's actually a little serpent with an eye on it. You need to look at that and wonder why they're using these biblical... There you, there you go. It's that battle between Apple and PC. It's all right there, right? Oh, by the, the way... Serpent, Satan, Eve eating the apple. Uh -huh. Yeah. PCs, <laughs> no. All right, we got to get going here, Michael. We have to do one more. They're Merrill Lynch. They got their, their symbol. Right. It's the bull. Yeah, the bull is standing for Taurus. All of the financial trimesters open in the Earth signs astrologically, right? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Well, the bull is the famous sign of a Taurus, which represents power and money. And not only that, but way back in Venice and Florence, the Borgia family, right, who were up to all sorts of no good back then, on their crest, their symbol for their family was the, was the uh, bull. 
So uh -huh. the bull stands for financial uh, mastery. So are you telling success. me that all those people who uh, drink a lot of Schlitz malt liquor 40s are in, uh, going for power and money? Thing? Well, isn't everybody? I mean, we're being, we're being conditioned in what I call sort of a, a hidden plain sight, a type of psychic dictatorship. I'm not against wearing it. You want to wear, if you want to look like a corporate logo from head to toe, okay, go ahead, salute it, you know. But at least know what these logos mean. Uh -huh. Educate yourself to find out what this is all about. I found out it's really interesting to teach children this because they get on board this really fast. <laughs> Finding out what these symbols and logos mean. All right. Well, I'm going to go into the I'm going to go into the kid, kindergartens and I'm going to teach them all this stuff. Michael, thanks so much for being on the program. You're welcome, Martin. Hope to see you again. Take care. Great to see you as always. Good luck finding Atlantis and look for Michael's new DVD explaining logo symbolism this December at Terroscopes.com. All right. Coming up, the wrenching tale of a desperate woman and her uncontrollable need for a man. <laughs> No enemy has ever withstood our might. I need a weapon. Rated M for Mature. A deadly virus has escaped. And if they want to live, they better... No. Go. Ask Alice. What's your lucky day? Mila Jovovich. Resident Evil Apocalypse, the special edition DVD. The number one selling diet pill in America. It's Xantrex 3. Rapid weight loss, incredible energy, and one amazing super pill. Xantrex 3. Yes! 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 Xantrex 3 at GNC and smarter retailers nationwide. Yes! The most powerful diet pill in America. Xantrex 3. More weight loss, faster weight loss, energy to burn. Xantrex 3. Yes! 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 Xantrex 3 at smarter retailers nationwide. No wonder everyone loves Xantrex 3. Xantrex 3. Yes! No crunches ever. Introducing the Ab Lounge, scientifically designed to get you up off the floor, making old-fashioned crunches a thing of the past. Sculpt your abdominals using the Ab Lounge Jackknife, proven in university testing to be better for your body. It's as easy as a crunch, but the Ab Lounge design makes every move really count, targeting your abs without wasted effort. Compare the Ab Lounge to an old-fashioned crunch. The advanced Ab Lounge Jackknife generates up to 75% more muscle activity in the upper and lower abdominals, and an amazing 268% more in the love handle obliques. I have this one pair of jeans. After just eight weeks, my fat jeans don't really fit anymore. With its rolled steel frame, the Ab Lounge supports up to 275 pounds. And it's so easy, almost anyone can use it. Call now to try the Ab Lounge for 30 days for just $14.95. If you don't agree the Ab Lounge is the best way to a sexy stomach, return it within 30 days for a refund of your $14.95. Call now and say goodbye to crunches forever. I should be hosting X-Play! I know every name of every creator of every major game released in the last 25 years! Ah, It's okay. X-Play, weeknights at 11. Do you consider yourself a star? I'm the same guy I've always been. You don't sound surprised about your popularity. I've been deeply involved in the gaming community for years. It's where my biscuits buttered, so to speak. Mm. If you could describe yourself in five words or less, what would you say? I fall, I get back up. That's six words, actually. Hmm, you're a cheeky one, aren't you? Cell phone, 1.2 megapixel camera, and holds 5,000 MP3s. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Mm. Hold on a second, sorry. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm in the middle of lunch. Uh, can I call you back? All right, cool, thanks. So that's a lot of MP3s. Yeah. Mm. See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Hold on, let me, let me put you on speakerphone. No. <laughs> Welcome back to Unscrewed, everyone. Simmer down now. My next friend wants to get engaged to a good man by December. Her solution? Build a website. From MaryBlair.com. Here's Blair Allison. Blair, how you doing? <laughs> Program. So, is it really is it is it really that tough out there that you can't find a guy that you when you had to build a website to attract a suitor? No, it's just a different way that I went about doing it. It's very easy to meet tons of men, but you want to meet that special someone. And you think you're going to meet that special someone in cyberspace? Possibly. That's the only I get an email from him, and then I meet him in the real world. So how does this work? I guess you made this website, and guys have now started emailing you, and then you just go out on dates with them. It's kind of like you're running your own Match.com or something. <laughs> Yeah, basically they email in, and if I like their profile, I check out their picture, 
talk to them on the phone, and then if they're good, I'll meet them. I don't meet everyone that emails me. Really? You're kind of snobby like that? You're like, no, I'm not going <laughs> out with this guy. Do you go out with everyone who uh, wants to go out with you? Absolutely. He does. Yes, he does. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're only talking like three, four dates a year uh. here. Boy. So why did you first come up with this idea? Like, had something bad happened in your life, or you just really wanted to get married? What was the story behind it? Um, honestly, there's really no story behind it. I'm a love coach, so I'm around. Wait, 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 wait. you're a love coach? <laughs> yes. So do you recommend that when your love classes, do you recommend that people do this? Like, start a website? Is it working out for you? It's working for me. I don't think it would work for everybody else. I think I used to always hide that I wanted to get married. So this is just a way of putting it out there. So that's why it's working for me. And have you met anyone? That, you know, there's a possibility by December. December's coming up. It's closing in real fast here, but you got to hurry. Uh, you never know. I'm actually, I met someone that I've been dating for a couple of weeks. So, but you never know. It's still early. Well, what do you have to offer them? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a great girl. I, I run my own company. Um, very motivated. Clearly. Uh, very cute as well. Like, I, I can't imagine that you would have any difficulty finding a finding guy. Well, here's what we did. We put an ad on our website soliciting potential suitors, and Laura took it upon herself to go out there and sort of screen a bunch of these guys who, who email us. So let's take a look at the footage. What are you looking for in a woman? I'm looking for somebody really sincere and somebody who's real. The question is, is what is a woman looking for in me? <laughs> she, she's got to be pretty. I like tens. I like nines. Um, I can cope with an eight. But if a girl would dress up, um, you know, like Xena, and I could possibly be Hercules, um, that, would be, that would be great to me, and then we could play some D&D. I'm Jewish, but I'm not really religious. I, I tend to consider myself more spiritual. I don't feel like you have to go to a, a temple or a, a church to speak to God. I, I do believe in uh, some things. I think being spiritual is also a good thing, a uh, positive thinker, and it's all kind of part of that. Uh, as a lover, I have to be honest, I'm an 11 on a scale of 1 through 2. I think cleanliness is very important, you know? Oh, yeah. If Claire and I did go out, um, I would take her to a really nice restaurant, have a bottle of wine and maybe a basket of fruit, nice dinner and, and a, a nice night out. That's really what I'm looking for. I think we're good, yeah. yeah. So, five suitors. You think there's a love connection with any of those guys you, you're interested Possibly. in? It? Which one? Yeah. Which one did you like? Joey. I, I, you kind of perked up a little bit when intern Joey was on. <laughs> was that the guy with the <laughs> yeah. 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 Did he do yeah, it for you? Yeah, you never know. I don't know. He looks a little artsy. Well, how about Step the guy who was an 11 on a scale of 1 to 10 for the sex? Oh, yeah, that that's, a, that's always a plus. That is important. <laughs> Well, Joey tells me he's like a 19, so there you go. <laughs> We're going to hook that up. We're going to set you guys up. Would you like to go out with Joey? Why not? All right, Joey, you hear that? <laughs> All right. Claire, thank you very much. Good luck with everything. Hope you find that husband by December. And for more info uh, about how to marry Blair Allison, just go to maryblair.com. All right, coming up, brimming buckets of fun. Don't miss it. <laughs> Had a butter. I hate recipes that use slang. Big Boy's making brisket and wants to know how much pad of butter is. Whenever I see that in a recipe, I just throw the whole stick in. I'll ask Jeeves. Big Boy is making brisket? What kind of moron doesn't know how much a pad of butter is? Now, for a limited time, get the new sidekick too. Only $1.99. Everybody needs a sidekick. What are you setting your sights on? And when you see it, will you be ready? Just pick up the phone, dial 1-800-645-ARMY, and you'll get this free DVD. You'll learn about the hundreds of opportunities the Army can offer you. Skills, education, health care. Call 1-800-645-ARMY, and you'll also get this free boonie hat. Whatever you're looking for, the Army can help you find it. 
I am astounded, excited. I love it. Excitement like this has been sweeping the nation. People everywhere are coming out to tell us how much they love their Q-Ray ionized bracelet. The Q-Ray is a great value. It's worth its weight in gold. You ain't getting this thing back. The amazing Q-Ray ionized bracelet is so revolutionary that its manufacturing process is a closely guarded secret. What we can tell you is that over one million people around the world have experienced a Q-Ray, and professional athletes swear by it. Not only is the Q-Ray ionized bracelet flexible and durable, it's also sleek and stylish. In fact, Q-Ray holds a U.S. government design patent. Try the incredible Q-Ray ionized bracelet yourself for 30 days for just $19.95. If you're not completely satisfied, send it back and we'll refund your $19.95. It's that simple. Call and find out how you can try the Q-Ray ionized bracelet for 30 days risk-free for just $19.95. If you're not completely satisfied, send it back for a full refund. Call now. Cell phone, 1.2 megapixel camera and holds 5,000 MP3s. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Mm. Hold on a second, sorry. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm in the middle of lunch. Uh, can I call you back? All right, cool, thanks. So that's a lot of MP3s. Yeah. See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Hold on, let me, let me put you on speakerphone. No. That's all the time we got. Thanks to my friends, Michael Sherry. I'm Blair Allison. And of course, the Swish, Beyonce Knowles. Sorry we ran out of time. Please come back again, girl. Okay, everyone, we'll see you at the bar. <laughs>
I know, it's great. I mean, it's great. I tell you, Martin Sargent was falling in love, and I, I just wanted to learn all about her, to find out anything I could about this angelic beauty. So I immediately started Googling her. And to my horror, I couldn't find anything. Yeah. Said your search, Jessica Schirmbaum, did not match any documents. <laughs> How could this be? I tried it in quotes. I tried it out of quotes. I even tried Boolean logic. <laughs> I was desperate. I tried Jess and Jesse and Jay and J-Dog and, and Mandy because I thought maybe she kind of looked like a Mandy, but there was nothing. Desperate, I friendstered her. Nothing. I whitepages.com'd her. Nada. I had typed all my credit card information to pay 50 bucks for one of those peoplesearch.com things when I realized I was going mad. Well, you see, in this internet age, there are certain kinds of pages you, you can just sort of expect to find when you Google someone. I mean, it's a given. But she had none. No overly honest blog giving in-depth analysis of her relationship with her cat. <laughs> Not even like a simple awkward photo from her high school debate years. Nothing. An unscrewed army. I'm telling you. We live in an age of information when facts and numbers fly through the ether on electric wings. And I just know if I can trust a woman who is entirely absent from this virtual world. I mean, sure, she may be soft and sweet and loving and have a mouth like a wet dry vac, but... <laughs> But I had to dump her because I couldn't live with that kind of uncertainty. Also, I think she maybe had a penis. <laughs> Which would explain why I got so many hits for Justin Schoenbaum. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, I forgot all about Jessica or Justin. A huge penis. I'm, I mean, I couldn't believe this. It's crazy. What was I saying? <laughs> I forgot all about that when I found these real girls on internet. Enjoy this clip, courtesy of America. Yes, I did. I always do that. I always Google them. This is a very true thing. I bet every, you guys do this. You guys do this when you start dating new people. Yes. Uh, you so do. Yeah, do. That's you like do the this first thing I do. do uh, I, I, the last person I Googled was uh, I was looking for a therapist, so <laughs> I went online and like the, what, the, we had a bunch of names, and I had a bunch of names that I had to search through. So I Googled, and one of the one of the uh, potential therapists was like a former uh, personal trainer, and I was like, no, because you that's want someone problem. that's smart. I, I don't want someone that's concerned about, you know, like, looking good while I'm well, talking I, about myself started, and they're wondering if their abs are defined. No. <laughs> Speaking of well-defined abs, I started <laughs> dating this, this girl recently. It's a true story. She says she's a model, right? So I do the Google search on her name. Nothing comes up. So I'm thinking, what kind of a model wouldn't go by her real name? <laughs> so I'm thinking, hey, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's just do tonight's show. Tonight's show has the rich, hearty taste of a pork cutlet, but is actually made entirely of soy. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're like, oh, soy. Ew, that's Ew, offensive soy. to soy. Yeah, we've got the Smoking Guns Ace reporter Andrew Goldberg here to tear open a can of celebrity gossip for us. Plus, Joey the intern will once again rain down fire and fury in another edition of Who's Laughing Now? Piatch. And our uh, girl gone wired is so sexually appealing, she's driven men to castrate themselves just to quiet their longing. <laughs> But first, here's our very own Dr. Peterson with another Mystery of Science Explained. Mysteries of Science Explained! Oh, hello! And welcome to Mysteries of Science Explained. You know, a lot of people are very curious about these seedless fruits and vegetables. Where do they come from? How do they reproduce? Well, the answer is surprising. It has less to do with science than it does with the black arts. Because Satan makes the seedless fruits and vegetables, people. <laughs> and if you eat them, Satan's gonna own your very soul. <laughs> Believe me, it's true. I'm a scientist. Thank you for watching Mysteries of Science Explained. Thank you, Dr. Peterson. Another Mystery of Science explained. All right, everyone, after the break, Andrew Goldberg from The Smoking Gun will be here to give us the creepy details of Bill O'Reilly's reactionary sexual fantasies. Stick around.
The skin protects discs even while they play. Well, you say you got a hot new baby. So hot she on your hand. She like a plate of... The skin protects movies, music, and games. Introducing Zavix Virtual Tennis. You may forget it's not real. Zavix. Rated E for everyone. Game and port sold separately. I am astounded, excited. I love it. Excitement like this has been sweeping the nation. People everywhere are coming out to tell us how much they love their Q-Ray ionized bracelet. The Q-Ray is a great value. It's worth its weight in gold. You ain't getting this thing back. The amazing Q-Ray ionized bracelet is so revolutionary that its manufacturing process is a closely guarded secret. What we can tell you is that over one million people around the world have experienced a Q-Ray, and professional athletes swear by it. Not only is the Q-Ray ionized bracelet flexible and durable, it's also sleek and stylish. In fact, Q-Ray holds a U.S. government design patent. Try the incredible Q-Ray ionized bracelet yourself for 30 days for just $19.95. If you're not completely satisfied, send it back and we'll refund your $19.95. It's that simple. Call and find out how you can try the Q-Ray ionized bracelet for 30 days risk-free for just $19.95. If you're not completely satisfied, send it back for a full refund. Call now. Metal detecting is one of America's fastest growing outdoor hobbies. Detectors are so easy to use now. I'd always wanted one. The whole family gets into it. Call for your free metal detector catalog from White's Electronics. With a White's, all you do is turn on and go. You know, my dad had one, but it wasn't like this. The screen shows you what's in the ground before you dig it up. Learn how the latest technology helps you find more. Alex finds more than I do. I found old coins, rings. You wouldn't believe what we found in our own backyard. Call for your catalog now. My next friend is the ace reporter for the smokinggun.com. Here's my old pal, legal document gumshoe, Andrew Goldberg. Hey, Andrew. Hey, how are you? Great to have you back on the program. In fact, Andrew, this is the first time you've been on the show since I moved the Martin Sargent Theater from San Francisco to Los Angeles. I know. Things have changed a lot. How's it going in L.A.? Oh, it's going okay, but I've got some legal questions for you that really pertain to you. <laughs> if I get arrested here in Los Angeles, is it easier for you to obtain my mugshot and then put it on your website, The Smoking Gun, than it was when I lived in San Francisco? <laughs> You made a good move. It's actually impossible to get it in L.A. LAPD never release them, so I probably could have gotten it when you were in San Francisco. Well, how do you get all these uh, mugshots of all these celebrities then? Well, some of them are released depending on where people get arrested. So, you know, if you look, there's no Winona Ryder because the LAPD don't release them. So it really depends. You hope somebody gets arrested in Florida. You hope they get arrested <laughs> maybe in, you know, Washington State or Oregon or Pennsylvania. But, you know, L.A., hey, you're perfectly welcome to do whatever you like and we won't see your picture. Well, okay, speaking of which, I guess these weren't celebrities, but it involved a celebrity of sorts. I hear that you found a little piece of information on that sweet, wonderful shrew of a woman, Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter's a little rough, um, but what happened is she had an appearance at the University of Arizona. I guess people want to hear her speak, and a couple of guys, 24-year-olds, one's a student, one wasn't, decided that they were going to hit her with a pie. Uh -huh. And uh, so they ran up on stage, and they threw the pies at her. Now, they claim they were throwing the pies at her ideas, not at her. But the, the problem for them was that they actually hit this scrim behind them, 
and not her ideas. And because they say it'll take about three thousand dollars to fix the scrim, now they're facing. Yeah, they said it was like some sort of Muslim scrim quote. Yeah, the police called it a Muslim scrim. I think it's Muslim. <laughs> but uh, we have we have uh, the mug shots, I believe, of of the guys who who were throwing right. the pies at her ideas. I guess they weren't from Los Angeles. There they are, right there. Speaking of, <laughs> they look kind of Bedouin. Actually, why are they wearing those those outfits there? The best explanation I could get was the cops said that they try and cover up the orange jumpsuit so it doesn't look like they're guilty already. Um, That's nice. The funny looks... thing is they found some literature in the pockets which said that, th which explained what they referred to as their Al-Qaeda, um, <laughs> Al what they were calling it. Hey, is it true that Ann Coulter lives underground in a windowless burrow and feeds off of magma? <laughs> That's why she's so thin and pale, probably. Yeah. Let, let's take, real quick, let's take a look at the video of what actually happened, what we're talking about here. Here's Al and Coulter up against the dark forces of Al-Qaeda. Here they come. Whoa! Whoa! See, here's the thing. If you're going to do that kind of thing, you got to hit the lady, man. These people, they always come in with the pies and they miss. Can I just tell you one quick thing that I learned today? Yes. There's going to be a website set up called alpida.org, which will be to raise funds for these guys, <laughs> um, somebody was telling me. And it's not up at this point, but who knows, it may be up, you know, in the next hour. It may be up already. Well, I don't know. You but... know, it's funny. What I did find today when I was looking around <laughs> was an action figure of Ann Coulter. Here it is right here. Take a look at this. And it talks, too. Listen to this. <laughs> Why not go to war just for oil? We need oil. What do Hollywood celebrities imagine fuels their private jets? How do they think their cocaine is delivered to them? <laughs> That's what Ann Coulter says. How do they think Hollywood celebrities get their cocaine delivered to them? Solar power, Ann. That's how we do it. <laughs> now, the only person sweeter than Ann Coulter is the moral center of America, Bill O'Reilly. And uh, you guys were among the first to report that now he's in trouble? How could this be? What's going on with old yeah. Bill? Bill is in trouble because, you know, he didn't treat his assistant so properly and he made some phone calls and he described, you know, if you're going to harass and call your assistant, don't talk about your vibrator fantasies. Yeah, don't but they weren't the actually word. fantasies. I think he actually had a vibrator when he was talking to the woman, according to those documents. Right, right. He was using a vibrator on himself. And, How does the man and, you know, use a vibrator on himself, about. Andrew? Uh, you know what? That's part of discovery in this case. I can't really speak from first-hand experience. So, Andrew, if Bill O'Reilly and Ann Coulter copulated, is it true that a, a baby that would emerge from Ann Coulter's stomach would look like an alien and attach itself to the doctor's face? And it would have a show on Fox. <laughs> so, so, Bill O'Reilly, not the only one, by the way, from uh, the fine Fox News machine over there at Fox News who's tussled with the law, correct? Right. Well, we have a mugshot on the site of Shepard Smith as well. Um, but he was getting into it over a parking space during the recount back in 2000 out in Florida. And he'll probably, if things go, you know, he'll probably have an opportunity to do that again sometime uh -huh. soon. But he wasn't doing it. He, he wasn't using a, a, a vibrator or anything or anything like not that. The, just, just, he was just trying to collect. He's just a news hound. That's all. <laughs> Okay, so finally, <laughs> you, guys, you guys broke the story that Lenny Kravitz uh, dropped a deuce in his Manhattan apartment and no right. amount of glade could clear the air there. What, what's the story? Well, you know, sometimes you dig through court files and you don't find anything. Other times you find like a gem, which is something involving a celebrity in a toilet. And Lenny's being sued by, you know, his downstairs neighbor's insurance company who paid off a $334,000 claim because Lenny's commode, as the complaint says, got all clogged up. Water ran downstairs and destroyed a lot of things in this guy's apartment. Now, this is a nice building. I mean, these neighbors were Courtney Love. <laughs> yeah, so is he going to have to pay That's what didn't happen, the flushing. <laughs> well, what do, you think, uh, what do you think Mr. Kravitz was trying to put down his commode that clogged it all up? Any, any thoughts on that? <laughs> I can't even imagine what can't it could be, it. you know. It could be something with fur on it. <laughs> Could be. Uh, just real quick here, you know, we're talking about all these people, sort of embarrassing them on television. These famous people, Bill O'Reilly, Lenny Kravitz. Right. You know, I, I'm on television too, Andrew, and I'm just wondering, would you do the same thing to me if I got arrested, if, if my toilet overflowed? Are we good enough yeah. friends now that you, you'd look the other way when you're looking through all the court documents? And I would do it in a second. <laughs> I would do it in a second, and I would call you first, and I'd expect to break it on your show. <laughs> There you have it, everyone. Thanks, Andrew, as always. <laughs> Thank you. For more exclusive and shocking info, including a report on the ATF's raid on Adam Sessler's compound, <laughs> check out thesmokinggun.com. Always great to have Andrew here. All right, when we get back, the lonely and dejected soul that's our own little Joey the intern will destroy the life of the landlord who wronged him. Stick around.
because I wanted to affect change, and this is the only way to do that. Inspired by a true story. Coach these I can play college ball. You should be all you can. Inspired by real courage. I killed myself for you, sir. Look at your lives and ask yourself, do I want that? Samuel L. Jackson, Rob Brown, Ashanti. Coach Carter, rated PG-13, starts January 14th. At Gamefly, rent the hottest titles for Xbox, PS2, GameCube, and GBA. Games like Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, and Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. No due dates, no late fees, free delivery. Go to Gamefly.com for your free trial. Gamefly, the smartest way to rent games. We are the men and women of the United States Army Reserve. We are regular people who share our time, serving our country, and our communities. Our training makes us stronger as soldiers and as citizens who stand ready. To find out how you can serve your country in the Army Reserve, call 1-888-624-ARMY for this free DVD and get a free sports watch. Stand ready in the Army Reserve. You ever think you might have worms? If your computer is slowing down or crashing or just acting weird. E-acceleration with the full power of stop sign can make it like new again. Stop sign gives you virus protection second to none. With a spam blocker and spyware remover. Pop-up blocker. And the stop sign firewall for all the protection you'll ever need. Guaranteed. You may be infected and not even know it. Go to stopsign.com for a free virus scan now. Are you getting caught with unhealthy credit card debt as you try to balance your life? There is hope. There's 800 Credit Card Debt, an approved debt management company established to get you back on solid ground. 800 Credit Card Debt can eliminate penalties, reduce interest rates, and make your monthly payments smaller. Call right now for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. Call in the next five minutes to see how fast you can get out of debt. Call 1-800-453-1306. See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Oh, hi. Welcome back, everyone. Now, once again, the universe has conspired against Joey the intern. But the universe can be beaten. Here is Laura Swisher with another Who's Laughing Now, Laura. Thanks, Martin. Okay, Joey, so uh, last week you locked yourself out of your house and eventually had to use your own techniques against yourself to break in. For four what? days, four days. All right, on Monday, I ran out of the house with the wrong set of keys. I called the landlord immediately, no response. Um, this, I get no response until about Wednesday, and I start freaking out. And yeah, freaking out, freaking out, and sleeping in the office. <laughs> only once, only <laughs> once. But uh, yeah, I called up the management company and they said, look, it's going to cost you anywhere in between 35 to you know, $100. And you don't have $35 to spare. You're an intern, so I'm what'd you do? Very poor. <laughs> so I had to rig some stuff. There was some stuff we had lying around the office, and uh, I actually videotaped my own break-in into the uh, apartment. I had to scale the fence um, and get to my side window, which was barred. There was no way that I could get in. If there's a fire, I am so dead. It's not even funny. So I MacGyvered this thing up using uh, just some stuff we had lying around the office, picked off the screen, and then went to town. Did a little bit of fishing into my bedroom, uh, right to the nightstand where uh, my keys were lying. And this took me like 20 minutes. It was ridiculous. I don't, here's the sad thing, Joey. I'm frankly a little disappointed that it took four days for you to break into your own house. And what are you going to do so that never happens again? Well, lock picking. Lockpicking is the answer, and lockpicking is very, very easy, all right? Locks are essentially made of two parts, a tumbler and pins. Now, if you'll pretend for a second that my hand is this tumbler, when the tumbler turns, it opens the lock, but what's preventing that are pins. When you put a key in, the pins rise up and become flush with the tumbler and allow it to turn. But, um... Did you get that, folks? Tumblers. Tumbler, pin. High tech. Okay. High tech. Move on. <laughs> So if you don't have the key, what you can use are a set of lock picks, like these right here. Um, bought these in high school, good times. Um, the girl's gym was never the same. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but what you do is all you have to do is use this little thing called a torsion wrench. You put it in here, and then you set those pins into place one by one by one. And this lock here I actually bought specifically because the packaging said that it resists picking. So I want a challenge. Well, where's the challenge, really? Where's the freaking challenge? Wow. That's really impressive. But I don't know where I would be able to get a lock pick set, so what am I supposed to do? Well, you could actually make them yourself from just parts you find at um, your local hardware store. Uh, these are little putty knives. You could actually get the templates for lockpicks online mm -hmm. and just, um, you know, print them out, trace out the pattern onto the putty knife, and then sort of grind out what you want until you get to something like this. But the problem with um, making your own lockpicks like this is sometimes, depending on how well the lock is made, right. it could take a little while. So I like to make a little automatic picking. How do you do that? Uh, Take a little electric pair of uh, scissors. Yeah, they have electric scissors now. How great is that? <laughs> take off the razor, take off the blade, and then you take your homemade lockpick here and you just bolt it right into place. Then, all you got to do is just... Oh, it does it for you. Mm, that's kind of turning me on. So, uh, so Joey, are you going to be able... Will people that, you know, get locked out of their homes and just for purposes of getting back into their homes and want to learn how to do this... Are you going to write something up on the website? I'll write up something if you want. It's Very good. Remember, people, this is not to break into other people's homes. It's to break into your own home and your own locks and your, you know, all that stuff. And so if you want to check it out, go to, uh, go to our site, g4techtv.com slash unscrewed. Marty. All right, thanks a lot. A couple things, though. <laughs> Joey, where, where do you live? Compton with all the bars <laughs> anywhere you know, like that? Seriously. It's so and ghetto. What, what, like, why don't you clean your house, man? Your nightstand is absolutely <laughs> filthy. Why are you wearing the black trench coat? You're scaring everyone in the office. Marty, right, stop picking on Joey. Let's just move on. Plus, poor kid. Poor kid. Poor kid. Yeah, he's been locked out of his house for four days. <laughs> Couldn't masturbate for four days. When we return, we've got our girl gone wire. Plus, we've got time. I'll steal a car and see whether I can make it to the border before Anime Unleashed comes on. Stick around. ITT Tech, I pretty much didn't care about school. I was delivering pizza. I put my dad through a lot of hard times. I told him ITT Tech is good for you. Do you want to go? Our company builds the Predator Unmanned Aircraft Series, which are flown used to support our homeland security. Computers are my passion. I enjoy designing circuits. The knowledge and skills I gained from ITT Tech allowed me to fit in right away. I pretty much shocked my parents. He's come a long way. I would say I'm a lot happier than before. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Earn a bachelor degree in digital entertainment and game design, one of today's exciting new career fields. Call 1-800-327-1172 to apply. This week on Real Time, presented by Coca-Cola. Take it, Miss Fire! Ten back-to-back -back episodes of The Electric Playground. Tell me everything about Splinter Cell 3 right now. Yeah. Sunday at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific. Cell phone, 1.2 megapixel camera, and holds 5,000 MP3s. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Mm. Hold on a second, sorry. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm in the middle of lunch. Uh, can I call you back? All right, cool, thanks. So that's a lot of MP3s. Yeah. 
See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Hold on, let me, let me put you on speakerphone. No. <laughs> Secure all objects in the overhead compartment, fasten your seatbelt, and prepare to get your manhood locked in the upright position. It's time for Girls Gone Wired. <laughs> Tonight's Girl Gone Wired is a woman so succulent and tender, her bikini nearly slides right off the bone. Yes, the bikini. Born in the frostiest days of the Cold War and named for the Bikini Atoll. At the end of WW Deuce, America liberated the bikinis, waited a couple of months, and then detonated several nuclear weapons on the islands. You know, I think I'd like to detonate on Karen's bikini. <laughs> However much environmental damage was wreaked by those bombs, I'm sure they can't compare with the devastation, the shock and awe I could cause if given just one night with Karen Cox. <laughs> Press the button. For more pics of Karen Cox, just Google her. Speaking of Google, right? Hey, thanks to my friends, Andrew Gold, Girl, Girl, uh, Girl Gone Wires, Karen, Joey, and of course, the Swish. Hey, everyone, we'll see you at the bar. Good night. <laughs>
But you know what? Who really the f cares? Because the important thing is, the Ravens are here, and they must be eliminated. So thank God for internet, because I'll tell you, if you ever need to learn how to get rid of a whole crap load of Ravens, internet is the place to go. To solve a Raven infestation, the ultimate site is roguesci.org. Just a quick perusal and you'll find recipes for homemade poisons, explosives, how to build guns, everything you need to know to permanently solve your raven problem, if you have one. Now, first off, I killed the ravens using meat poison with hydrogen chloride. Yeah, killed a, a whole lot of ravens too, but not enough because as you can hear, many ravens remain. Okay, this would be the point where the raven is supposed to come back in, dumbass. Jesus. All right, next. Next, I thought about building a large bomb or creating a poison gas cloud to get rid of the ravens, but that might kill innocent people, and that's no good. No, what I need is an exterminator. So just before the show, I did one of them Google searches for raven exterminators, and I came up with one based right here in sunny Santa Monica, California. So let's go ahead and call her, see what she can do for old Martin Sargent, shall we? Okay, it's ringing. Hello? Hello, Raven Elimination Services! Hi, how you doing? This is Television's Martin Sargent, over at Unscrewed. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm a huge fan of your show. I love you! Really? Oh, uh, yeah, you got a Raven problem? Oh, I got one hell of a Raven problem. Can you help me eliminate him? Well, I'll tell you, I can't. Now, you don't always have to kill the Raven, no? Martin. What I do is... I sing a special magic song, oh, good, and yeah. they live on their own. All right, yeah, let's do it that way. Okay, let's try it. Now repeat after me. Okay. Oh, ravens. Oh, ravens. You can have my flesh. You can have my flesh. But you will never get my soul. Well, you will never get my soul. Now go. Now go. Get the f*** out, ravens. <laughs> you are cowardly birds. Get the F out, you are cowardly birds. Get the F out. Yeah, Mrs. Crackles, I think it worked. There's no more ravens. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Crackles. <laughs> wow. How about that? Wow, save the day. Well, it looks like the internet has saved the day again. For without it, I never would have been able to find Mrs. Crackles and solve our raven problem. Thanks, internet. <laughs> And also, I'd like to express a little gratitude to my assistant, Roderick, who recently found some web footage of Asian women with sweaty breasts eating soup. He can't swing a raven, but he can find that. Let's watch. <laughs> Something like that gives me a powerful appetite. Wow, yamma nama na. Yamma nama na. Soup is good food. Yamma nama na. All right, let me tell you something, people. Yamma nama na. Oh, yamma nama na. Sorry. Can you do that? Can you do that some more, please? Yamma nama na. That's the. <laughs> Finally, the ratings are going to go off. Let me tell you something, people. After we complete tonight's show, it will be placed in a display case in the Museum of Television Greatness. And in the coming years, so many people will come bear witness to its greatness that a new religion will form. And lo, that religion will be a faith, not of peace, but of fire. Tonight, we shall honor the bizarre, the mad, the seldom praised. And then we'll show you how to hide the smell of farts. <laughs> well, let's begin tonight by paying tribute to another great American. My heart swells with pride. Tonight's great American is the curator of a mobile roadside attraction called the world's largest collection of the world's smallest version of the world's largest things. Here's Eric and Nelson. How you doing, Erica? Pretty good. How are you guys? I'm great. So do I have that straight? Did I get that out? The world's largest collection of the smallest version of the world's largest things. You did it yeah, just absolutely superbly. Well, how curious. Whatever is that? 
Pardon? What is your collection? <laughs> I mean, what is it? Well, it is. Uh, I go around the country looking for world's largest things like uh, the big giant donut at Randy's Donuts. Mm -hmm. All over Randy, sure. La yeah. Cienega, Los Angeles. Let's go on. There and you this, go. this this museum of yours, it's it's located in your van, right? Yes, it's a mobile museum. <laughs> so the museum goes with me wherever I go. What are some of the different types of the world's largest roadside attractions you've encountered and then collected in the small version? Well, uh, some of them include monuments to wildlife of the area, like the world's largest goose in Sumner, Missouri, or uh, the world's largest frying pan up in Long Beach, Washington. It, it, it's, it's something that will set your town apart from anything else. Oh, It'll make sure. somebody stop when they're going down the highway and go, hey, I got to go see that. You, you know, I heard that the people in Ohio recently found God near the interstate north of Cincinnati. Is that true? Uh, they, they might have. Here, what I want to know is, Erica, where can I find the world's largest eight ball? The world's largest eight ball? Yeah. Well, you'd have to be driving along a highway in the middle of Missouri. Uh-huh. Uh, Missouri, huh? They, get, they got good eight balls there? Is that right? Well, uh, it's not an ingestible kind. No. no. I don't know what you're talking about, actually. I don't, I I don't know any idea what you're talking either. about. So this museum of yours, this museum slash converted 18-passenger senior citizen van, it shows off your handmade replicas of the world's largest things. Do people, now, do people actually come up to you when you're in some sort of a rest stop and, and want to see your stuff? Oh, yeah. It's always on display. So whenever the museum is not moving, it's on display. What do you think? we got to run here. But what in your mind, you've been doing this for so long, what in your mind does your mobile art installation represent? It represents the best of Americana. It represents all those people who don't want to be just like everybody else and think of some way to make themselves stand out. And all these little communities around us that just go, hey, you know what? We're different. We've got a big, big chicken in our backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we think that you are one of the great Americans. Thank you so much, Erica. Keep driving down that road. For souvenirs from your favorite mobile museum and roadside attraction, check out worldslargestthings.com and become a member. All right, up next, we'll pay homage to karaoke, farting herrings, and God knows what else. <laughs> the Ig Nobel Awards, coming up right after the break. <laughs> Brought to you by Mountain Dew, the people who brought you Mountain Dew. This video contains adult content not suitable for children. What if you could take over this jet, this car, this bus, and this crew and travel America to find these hot young girls winning to get wild just for you? The Man Show's Doug Stanhope is about to live your dream, uncovering some of the hottest girls in America. The hilarious and sexy Girls Gone Wild America Uncovered is not sold in stores, and the good stuff can't even be shown on TV. And if you call now and use your credit card, we'll also send you the all-new Girl Power, where you find the hottest real college girls doing things they never taught you in school for just $9.99. Since you can never get enough, if you call now, you'll also get Road Trip absolutely Absolutely free. That's right, three videos for $9.99. That's a $60 value. This is the best Girls Gone Wild package ever. At Girls Gone Wild, we won't leave you until you're satisfied. Order and you'll automatically receive the hottest Girls Gone Wild videos every month. There's no minimum to buy, and all videos have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You must be over 18 with a valid credit card. So call 800-577-0839 to order Girls Gone Wild America Uncovered for only $9.99 and get Girl Power and Road Trip free. Call now, 800-577-0839, and log on to girlsgonewild.com for never-before-seen footage. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. Fight. 
As you can. Fight Club. Rated M for Mature. In stores now. Hey! Hey, this chicken thing just said that there are new episodes of Last Exile starting in December! No, seriously! Catch the anime series Last Exile. Coming up next, only on Anime Unleashed. Welcome back, everyone. My next friend is known for paying homage to some of the most bizarre research ever presented with a straight face. Here's the founding father of the Ig Nobel Awards and the author of the book by the same name, via satellite from somewhere near Harvard, Mark Abrams. Hey, Mark. Hello, Mark. Great to have you on the program. So to win nice uh, to be here, one of wherever these, I am. <laughs> <laughs> to win one of these Nobel prizes, and believe me, I've won several. You must do some very great things. What must you do to win an Ig Nobel Prize? It's an odd thing. You have to have done something that first makes people laugh and then makes them think. And that's it. And what people think, that's up to them. Mm -hmm. So your website pays homage to all the recipients of the Ig Nobel Prize in the years past. Can you give us some examples of this, some of the research that uh, were rewarded? Sure. I've been doing this since 1991. We give 10 a year, so there are quite a few. There was a prize given to the patent holder for the comb over. Get out of here. Nobody invented the comb over. <laughs> Well, that's a separate question. They don't claim, in fact, they insist they did not invent it, they never <laughs> patented it. Very nice. So another one is, is karaoke. The karaoke, the guy who invented it, actually won an Ig Nobel Prize. I think that's very much yeah. deserved. I think he should have won a Nobel Prize for inventing karaoke. Someday, someday, it could happen. <laughs> who was well, it? Well, you just saw a picture from, his name is Daisuke Inoue. He lives in Japan. About 1971, he invented karaoke. Anyway, he never made any money. This was maybe the only honor he's gotten. He came to the ceremony a few weeks ago here at Harvard, and we had 1,200 people in the largest meeting place at Harvard. We had a bunch of Nobel laureates. They're the ones that hand the prize. And we had a sort of magical little moment in history when the Nobel laureates sang a karaoke tribute to Mr. Inoue. Boy, that must have been a scream for all you Harvard people. That must have been, oh, what's your Harvard, or what's your uh, karaoke song? I bet you go out there a lot and sing the karaoke. Oh, I have too many. They just <laughs> the memories crowd my mind. All right, so one more we have time for. Um, Takeshi Makino. What did he win an Ig Nobel Prize for? He also is Japanese. About five years ago, he won the Ig Nobel Chemistry Prize for his involvement with something called S-Check. S-Check is a kind of chemical. It comes in little vials. And he's a detective. People hire him to use S-Check. Typically, uh, suspicious wives hire it. He dribbles this little chemical on the underwear from the husband. And if the husband has been unfaithful, so goes the theory, his underwear starts glowing. Oh, my God. That's not available in this country yet, is it? No. In fact, in his acceptance speech, he said, you're Americans, you don't have to worry. I have no plans to bring this product <laughs> to the United States. Now, you, <laughs> thank God. So one more thing. You're talking about his acceptance speech. You have a little thing that you do if the acceptance speech goes too long called Sweetie Poo. What is that? Miss Sweetie Poo. We have the same problem every award ceremony does, but we keep things really short. Miss Sweetie Poo is a beautiful, charming eight-year-old girl. And whenever she feels somebody has talked too long, she looks up to them, looks up at them and says, please stop, I'm bored. Please stop, I'm bored. That's a great please idea. Please stop, I'm bored. Does please anyone ever stop. physically attack her? I'm bored. No, they've tried to bribe her, but nothing works. She is one tough kid. Hey, man, thanks very much for being on the program. Okay, thanks for having me. Big Nobel Awards, and to win a date with the Nobel Laureate, check out Improbable.com. That's what happens. If you win all these things, you can actually go out with the Nobel Laureate. Go to Ignobel.com for more information. All right, thanks a lot, Mark. Now, coming up, a man whose underwear may very well make the world a better place. Stick around. <laughs> cruising through with my buddies, we're just talking, all of a sudden I see a, a new Celica GTS just flying by, weaving through traffic, and I just jumped in. I, it was, it's impulse, you know, like cat and mouse. You, you see it, you just chase after it. 
When you're on the road and someone comes up behind you or someone smokes you, you know you're gonna go after it. That's the whole cat and mouse thing. It's just like nature. It's survival of the fittest. You're either the hunter or the hunted. Ready to be for everyone. EA Games. Challenge everything. My dog's things are Oh, it's Sirius Satellite Radio with great Yeah, We got all these different channels. Country, rock, even NFL football. Steelers! Raiders! The entire NFL, every week, only on Sirius Satellite Radio. Now available at Radio Shack. Over 120 channels of news, talk, and sports, including 65 channels of commercial free music. I could use a commercial break right about now. Sirius Satellite Radio at Radio Shack. Thank you very much. It will summon you. It will challenge you. It will consume you. Mortal Kombat Deception. Online for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Made it mature. Hey! Hey, this chicken thing just said that there are new episodes of Last Exile starting in December! No, seriously! Catch the anime series Last Exile. Coming up next. Only on Anime Unleashed. I don't really care what she says. You're not too fat to wear a thong. You think I'm fat? What are you talking about? What am I talking You want to go? Huh? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! 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 Get hot girls to wrestle on command. Ah! Ah! Up in the ring, or down in the mud, it's Rumble Roses, and it plays as good as it looks. Rated M for Mature, from Konami. Why did your last diet fail? If you're over 30, overstressed, and overweight, take a look in the mirror. You've got excess body fat around your waist, hips, and belly, right? Well, diet failure is not your fault. The problem is cortisol, a nasty little stress hormone that traps excess fat around the middle. But now, there's Relicor. Relicor helps control cortisol and helps us lose stubborn belly fat fast. If you're dieting and still plagued by unsightly belly bulge, even if you're low-carb dieting, there's only one Relicor. Relicor helps you get thinner, look younger, and have energy to burn. Remember, when you're over 30, overstressed, and want to get rid of stubborn belly fat, the answer is Relicor. Call in the next 15 minutes and find out how you can receive a one-month supply of Relicor absolutely free. Call 1-800-477-1830. That's 1-800-477-1830. Order Relicor now. It's easy. You'll love it. Get free with the cheese spot tomorrow starting at 10. <laughs> You know how sometimes you're sitting in a production meeting for your TV show and you just lay out a real dirty, stank ass? Well, never mind. My next friend is the recipient of an Ig Nobel Prize for an invention that can save us from future outbreaks. Here's Buck Weimer. How you doing, Buck? Doing good. Great to have you here on the program. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> you invented these things. It's, it's, it's underwear with some kind of a filtration system in there, right? Absolutely, yes. For, for fart. For far Whatever yeah. you want to call it. How yeah. much faith do you have in it? Because Joey, the intern, is sitting on the end of the couch over there, and he's basically been uh, eating chili and drinking beer since about, <laughs> about the time the Price is Right was on this morning. So it could be real bad. Does it work real well? Actually, I have total confidence in the fact that I'm still in the same bedroom, in the same bed with my wife, and not him. Uh, I have total confidence in him. So is that, that's how this started, because of your wife? <laughs> yes. Yes. My wife has uh, irritable bowel syndrome, uh -huh. Crohn's disease. Wow. And... Uh, when it flares up, she has a very difficult time digesting tryptophan, which is a protein, one of the eight essential amino acids. I thought that was the stuff in Turkey. That it is, it is, but it's in almost every food. <laughs> and it's hard to digest, and when you don't digest it, you get a bad smell. All right. how do you, how do Pardon me, I'm hey. going to squeeze over here hey, a little bit. Okay. I hope you don't mind. How about, well, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> Is your wife watching? I've clearly lost not. control of the machine. I've clearly lost control of the machine. How many years have you and your wife been together? 35. And how many years since you invented this thing? 2001, you won the Ig Nobel Prize. Has the relationship really flowered in the past four yes, years? Yes, it has. Yes, it has, believe me, because she spent a lot of time making me a long sufferer. <laughs> Buck, what did you put into things that actually makes it work for well, someone actually, like you or your wife? They're made out of airtight material with elastic around both legs and around the waist, and then in the back around the, the tush area, I have a hole cut out of the material, <laughs> covered with ordinary porous material, 
sewn in the shape of a pocket. And in the pocket, I have a replaceable filter that filters out the bad smelling flatulence, but allows the non smelling flatulence to pass through. If you got it real bad, how often you got to replace that filter? Not very scientific. <laughs> Mine needs a change. <laughs> can you measure this really scientifically? Like, is there a, a smell meter or smellometer that you can use to really tell if it's, if it's working or not? Well, there are meters that are sensitive to hydrogen uh, sulfide. What do you need a meter for? You're just going yeah, yeah, really. for heaven. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> but you actually can measure certain <laughs> gases. Not all of them combined because everybody's digestion is different. This one's off the charts, by the way. <laughs> you guys can't well, we tell. Got, we got it right here. How much do those things cost, Buck? They cost twenty-four ninety-five. So that's bargain? good value. That's good value. A bargain for sure. <laughs> Buck, thank you so much for being on the program. Pleasure. Pleasure. And if you want to buy some of the special anti flatulence underwear, head on over to his website, under-tech, that's T-E-C, dot com. Get out of here, Joey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hope we caught that on camera too, man. All right, after the break, we're going to check in with one of our oldest and most distinguished fans, film star and Halo 2 champion, Michael King. Don't miss it. But first, toss this on your brain. Yeah, you guys, I would really love to go see on screen, but I can't right now. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm really busy. That Martin, he's really hot. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. But the deal is, I just have a big presentation to do. And Shut your face. Log on to the website for your free tickets. No enemy has ever withstood our might. I need a weapon. Rated M for Mature. This holiday, Xbox gives and gives. Get a console with two games, EA Sports NCAA Football 2005 and Top Spin. Plus two months of Xbox Live for $149.99. Rated everyone. Wow. Oh, somebody's got to do this. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Matt. Not that far, Matt. You got this. Oh. oh. Wow, you really stuck that landing. Shut it. Go new places, experience new things. Forerunner, now that's moving you forward. Millions have experienced the legend. Now it is time for you to join the quest. Behold the future of online gaming. EverQuest 2, where adventure comes alive. Rated T for Teen. I can't get this pressure going out of my head. All of this pressure, my hands on the run. Pressure, 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 Solid 3, Snake Eater, rated N for Mature. Peace, by any means necessary, from Konami. All right, welcome back, everyone. Thank you very much, thank you. Now, uh, over the years, we at Unscrewed have talked to a lot of people. People distinguished in a very wide range of fields. But perhaps the most distinguished of them all is the film legend, Michael Caine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and ring him. Hello? Hello, I'm Michael Kane. Oh good, Mr. Kane. It's Martin Sargent, Unscrewed. Oh yes, you know, I have been watching Unscrewed for months. And I must say, it was a little bit better at Tech TV. What? In San Francisco. What? Well, what are you talking about? It just seems to me 
And mind you, I'm just a casual observer, but it seems to me you're not having quite as much fun. Well, no, what do you know? You're just some kind of a knight in movies or something like that, man. Come on. Well, it's a good point. And what I want to say <laughs> to you is you should leave it and come with me on a cruise to Ceylon where you can live with me on my tea plantation. Really? Yes. Are you serious about that? Yes. You know what? I'm going to take you up on that. Yeah, I would love to live on your tea plantation in Sri Lanka. But Pretty well good, I, I got a couple of demands. Is it all right if Swish comes with me? Absolutely, yes. All right. How about, how about my intern, Joey? Can he come? Cheerio, yes. All yes. right, Joey, you can come, too. How about the ambassador of gay? Is he okay to come, too? Bloody well, yes. How about, can I even bring Ricky Kang? Bloody well, yes. Can I bring all of my extremely talented, and in some cases, very hot writers and producers? I would like you to do well, that's great. everybody to We're the coming. plantation. Fantastic, then. Sorry, Unscrewed Army. You know, me and my whole staff, we're moving to Sri Lanka with Michael Caine. Uh, so we probably won't be on the TV anymore, but we'll be back maybe a little higher up on the dial down the road. We love you, and hopefully tonight we'll see you at the bar. Thanks for watching, everyone. I love you. Thanks so much. I hate Adam Sessler. I'd rather suck at a urinal puck than play this game. Why does he get to play video games and review video games on a show about video games? Why does he get to spend every day with Morgan Webb? We've got a preview of the hottest new releases. Yeah! <laughs> Obsessed with video games? Watch X-Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb tomorrow at 11. She's visiting us today with an armful of some of the most disturbing video games around. Please welcome X Plays Morgan Webb. How you doing, Morgan? Hey. Wonderful to have you on the program. So I, you know, I got to know, what does it feel like to host a television show that people actually watch? Well, since I have such a distinguished career that I didn't even know about exactly, I figure maybe I can bring some people on onto here. Yeah, Thank you well, so we, much. We can, yeah. You, you guys are on the right <laughs> before us. I mean. Thankfully, people watch your show, and some of them, you know, the, the remote control breaks or something like that. We get those. Away. We get the drugs, basically, from your show. Yes. So it is a video game best. show, and yes. you're here to talk about video games, uh, specifically, sort of controversial video games. There's been controversy surrounding video games ever since I was a little kid. I remember people were like, "Oh, they're going to rot your brain and all that. Oh, exactly. Spend all your money on it." But some people said they increase hand-eye coordination. Where, if there's you trace back the history, there's always excuses, you know everywhere but of course one of the first most controversial video games is called Custer's Revenge uh -huh. and it was from the Atari 2600 and you play Custer wearing nothing but a hat and boots and you see everything you can there he is. see it right there and the goal is to avoid the arrows and then oh my have God. sex with a Native American woman who's tied to a pole. That's, that's terrible. I mean that's really wrong on so many different levels. He's happy now. I but guess so. The Custer imagine. was really well hung. He was a terrible, he was. terrible soldier. He was. But very well hung. And you can imagine people got very upset about this from Native American groups Absolutely. to women's groups for objecting to So was this rape. game like, what is this, like 1982? Was it was this like 1980 hit? something. Did people actually it play this game? It was not that good of a game. 
and you couldn't really <laughs> buy it anywhere. <laughs> it would, you know, no one would remember it except for that it was very controversial. But you couldn't buy it anywhere. The company that made it got tied up in court. They made two more X-rated video games, and they went under because people kept suing. There them. was more X-rated video games back then with like that kind of graphics. They and made two more of that. Wow, people must yeah. have been really excited back then about yeah. that kind of thing because that yeah. was really hot. All right, we got to move on. <laughs> games. They've come a long yeah. way since then. Um, nowadays, characters in the games can actually talk. Right. Such as this one. This is uh, called Roadkill, mm -hmm. right? This is a very violent Sorry. game. What's up? A oh, gun battle up my <laughs> That's what's up! Would you listen to this <laughs> guy? As if nothing were wrong. Uncle Witty's a wee bit pissed, my friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down, girls. Pissed oh. about what? You know what he's pissed about. <laughs> See, I, I think the real controversy here is uh, the wildly <laughs> awful haircuts of the characters <laughs> in this game. It's not necessarily all the profanity and the violence and all that. It's just... The it's hair. it's about it, it is the controversy is about the profanity. The rest of the game, you're driving around in a car and you're shooting off the top of it. And there's a bunch of games that sort of follow the car shooting model, like Twisted Metal Black, and they try and compare themselves to Grand Theft Auto. But uh, what was really controversial is they said naughty words a lot. Well, People was, got very upset about that. And speaking of Grand Theft Auto, I yeah. mean that was like one of the most controversial games of all time because of the violence. But maybe not the most violent game of all time. In fact, you guys have picked one that may be even more violent than that. This is called Manhunt, and it has made by the same people who made Grand Theft Auto, but the point is to, you're basically making a snuff film, and the more violent and creative and imaginative ways that you can kill people earns you points. So you're basically wandering around the environment looking for axes and Jeez. bats. <laughs> oh my god! And you get, you get extra points for, you know, that. <laughs> For imagine someone's had it like that? Right. The more blood, the more gore you get, the better you're. Oh my god. The, the thing is, it wasn't really the most engaging or best video game out there, but it got a lot of attention because it was so controversial. Yeah, that, I would, that would get my attention. You know what else would? <laughs> gratuitous TNA. And yes. that's a big thing in uh, video games now too, right? Yes. Well, you know, men are big fans of video games and men are big fans of TNA. TNA. Some, men are, <laughs> some men like books and reading, like myself. Oh, but yes, yes, of course. I'm sure that's very yeah. true. Well, there's DOA Extreme Beach Volleyball. Now, mm -hmm. DOA was, you know, dead or alive. It was a fighting game. And then it came out where they played volleyball. What could be controversial about this? This is a lighthearted romp on a sunny beach. Right. You buy bathing suits for the girls. You go shopping. You watch them sunbathe. The thing about this game is there wasn't a very good volleyball engine in it. You weren't in it to play volleyball. You were in it to watch the girl in the bathing suit with the tail on it. That's a good engine. I don't know what you're talking about. What is she doing right there? Like, what does that have to do with volleyball? She's, she's resting between matches. She's okay. got to rest up, Laura. It's, it's very intense sport, volleyball. <laughs> All right, we got one more. It's even more gratuitous than that. Some games are just... Purely well, this sexual is Sexy now. Beach 2, and you can't really get this in America. You have to order it special. This is a Japanese game. And the point of this game is to seduce <laughs> a young woman uh, by touching and stroking. Oh, wait, so wait, like, the, <laughs> you, you, use, you use like a mouse point it's or whatever to like game, yes. fondle her and whatnot? Exactly. This is, what, this is your job? Check this out This is what physics. you do? You like play these <laughs> games all day at work? Yeah, well, we have to import them. Yeah. And then when you know you seduce her, you get. It's such when a you man's game. Her, though. <laughs> it's so. just such a man's game because if it was realistic. They'd rub the feet, and the woman be like, "Yeah, uh, yeah right do that. there." Ah, oh, uh, oh. No, that was pretty <laughs> realistic. That's pretty. Realistic. I, I made yeah, it is that like, how you, uh, thirty you, seconds. Is that what you do? You're all yeah, mm, rubbing the thigh, and that's something like that. Yeah, yeah with the mouse point. Anyway, speaking of controversy, we were talking about this a little earlier. The Playboy.com poll. Yes. You are the winner of the Playboy.com poll. Yes. The five women from Tech TV. You beat out Miss Laura Swisher right here. <laughs> Uh, apparently, you have more hackers in your audience than we do, so that means that you, you won. So, okay, so, so you win, and Playboy says that you uh, can do a, a, a spread for them. I think that you should do this. You I think, do? I think that this would really advance your career. You think so? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, no. No, why not? It's a very tasteful magazine. I wanted I don't know to make if you sure she had Playboy. an opportunity. You did have an opportunity. They said they came to you too, and they said if you want to do it. They were so nice. They gave us all an opportunity. Aren't they dogs? That would be so Absolutely like a sweet. Yeah. tech TV girl on girl on girl thing. Here, I'll do it, Morgan. I will do it if you do it. Yay! I kind of know what she's gonna say. Right. So I, I'm pretty, I feel I pretty safe. Predictable. I'm predictable. Anyway, well, thank you guys. Yes. Thank you so much for being here, talking about all those video games. Check out more um, on Morgan and the game she plays at techtv.com slash xplay and watch xplay every weeknight at 11 o'clock p.m. Yes. Eastern, right? Yes. Morgan, right. thank you so much for being here. Best show on the network, right? Coming up.
Shake hands with the dark tipper and his stun gun. He made a stun gun out of the glove. And go change in your sweatpants. A wildly hot girl gone wired is just ahead.